Hey, it's Ross Payton with Role Playing Public Radio. We're playing Dungeon Crawl Classics. Woo! Uh, this scenario is one of my own creation. It's called Grand Prix of the Gods. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, this is based on uh, a... Well, I'm using a supplement for uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics. Uh, put out by a third party, forget who, but it's not an official thing, but you know, it's one of the third party <laughs> things. Called uh, Dungeon Grand Prix, which adds kart racing to Dungeon Crawl Classics. Which is what it had been missing. Uh, clearly. It, it clearly. Is, yeah, it is what it has been missing. And uh, we are excited to uh, um, explore the, the vast dimensions of kart racing uh, uh, vis-a-vis dungeon crawling. Um, so, uh, yeah, this, this setting is, is my own original setting. Do not steal. Definitely, totally, un- definitely uh, original, not, not ripping anything off. Um, so it is 10 million years in the future. Uh, all of humanity has gone. Uh, no one remembers if they died or if they fled to the stars or if or they if became. Or we are some... humanity. No, you definitely are not. Uh, I like to think we are. You are delusional. Then uh, that is <laughs> the one be... thing I have about my settings that the humans are gone and no one knows what happens to them. If you just say no, I know the answer to the one thing. Then that, you're crazy. Then yeah, that's not no. Please don't negate my setting, Tom. Uh, yeah, too late. <laughs> Already did. So um, the uh, only ones left to remember them are uh, call themselves the Ageless. Uh, you frozen in time. They've forgotten your original names. Uh, you were made by the ancient humans as entertainers to perform for children and the young hearted. Uh, now there's no one left to entertain. Only the ruins and fragments of a long dead civilization. Uh, you are made of plastic, metal, magic, or science, and uh, yeah, you do not age, you do not rust, uh, you are. You, you, you can die, but uh, whatever created you uh, uh, brings you back, uh, although you gain amnesia for a century or two, which you are you don't like to, because it's been 10 million years, you've died quite a few times, and you're really tired of that shit. Uh, it, yeah, so... Um, some of you, many of the ageless, at least some of them, wish to die, wish to know true oblivion so they no longer have to walk and wander under a, uh, a reddening sun uh, in a world uh, filled with ruins and regret. Uh, others uh, wish to remember, to be reborn. Uh, and there is one hope. One of the ageless went to the stars millions of years ago and has returned. The rat who has returned. Uh, and it is said uh, throughout the lands that the first to reach him can ask a boon of the Star Traveler. Of the uh, uh, the Ageless have only one vehicle left that they, they will use, their carts. Uh, so they mount their carts for the wackiest race of all time. Uh, Motherfucker. Yes. Uh, so this is Wacky Race by way of Roger Rabbit meets Thundar. Uh, meets the road, meets etc, etc, etc. Just walk away. Just walk away. Uh <laughs> So um, we're using the DCC mechanics to explain what your character can do uh, as things have gotten weird in the future. So uh, it just happens to resemble your abilities happen to resemble a character class from Dungeon Crawl Classics. Uh, It's just you can theme it however you wish. So, um, yeah, who wants to describe who their character is and uh, what they look like and what they can do a little bit? All right, I'll take I'll take the first swing. Yeah. Uh, hi, uh, it's uh, me, Chris. Hi, Chris. Chris Weimer, pack again. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So, so as I play the type as usual. So I am uh, playing a a wizard, a, a barber come wizard. Uh, uh, now I'm an astrologist. Uh, in the name of Vitruvius Hogvexer. <laughs> Vitruvius Hogvexer. H O G G V E X X E R. Ask for it by name. Uh, I'm a wizard of 12 intelligence, uh, but I made it to level one somehow. Yeah. And, uh, uh my card is, uh, is, 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 uh, you guess it's shaped exactly like the hat I wear. Oh yeah. What kind of hat? Is it a, like a straw hat? Uh, it's, 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 it is a traditional wizard's cone bedecked with the, with, 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 with the gossamer stars. <laughs> And I, and I there's a little window, and my head pokes out of it. You see my little hands on the steering wheel. So it's like it's like a driving tower. You remember um, 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 the the crimson permitted insurance from uh, Monty Pi- uh, Meaning of Life? Yeah, yeah. There you are, a big tower. <laughs> Amazing. All right. 
Uh, very good. So yeah, you you have forgotten your original self, and you now resemble this wizard, uh, and uh, with a appropriately wizardly cart. Uh, so uh, Amanda, uh, hello. 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 Uh, what? Who are you in this uh, grand? Um, I am playing an elf, and my name is uh, Karam Lorna. Uh, you can just Iliardo. rename your character. So I, I'm just really forgotten how, how do you to say pronounce that again? it. So we are just, I just joined it to Lorna. Lorna uh, is right. what I go by now. Yeah, very good. <laughs> All right, and uh, tell us a little bit about Lorna. You're an elf. So I, I am an elf. Um, you know, previously I was an artisan. I did elven crafts for. Uh, for the people who created me, uh, but now I just yeah, society wander has regressed. around. Know that uh, society doesn't care about my my works anymore. Okay, um, and I think you do have a familiar. I do, I do have a familiar. I have a Wolverine, and he is so snuggly, and I love him. Yes, um, yes. So uh, in the last hundred thousand years or so, it has become in vogue to. Uh, uh, look and act as though you are members of a fantasy world uh, of adventurers. And uh, yeah, um, or maybe it was a virus uh, that caused everybody to look like a vaguely medieval. Uh, uh, maybe the, the metaverse leaked into reality and you're now uh, uh, just infected with this thing that makes you look like you're, you escaped from World of Warcraft. Uh, you don't know. You don't remember. It was 100,000 years ago. So, uh, yeah, now you're an elf. Uh, yeah. You may have been something earlier. We'll, we'll find out, perhaps. Uh, you, and uh, finally, Tom. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Tom. Mm -hmm. And I am playing Jacksonville Johnny. Jacksonville Johnny. I love it. Tell us about Jacksonville Johnny. Well, he kind of resembles like an, uh, a mechanical anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic alligator. Yeah. He's pretty sure he was like a sports mascot at mm -hmm. some point. Okay, so, so you he, have more clear memories of the past. Well... I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I can't remember what exactly sports ball I was supposed to be a mascot for. Okay. Um, I'm guessing maybe it took place in a place called Jacksonville. I have no idea about that. Mm -hmm. But my whole thing was to get people hyped up for the combat, the war that was the sports ball game. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping that tradition alive, I think. You think? <laughs> By being a ruthless warrior. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Who I actually, like, I hang, like, I hang, like, body parts of those I kill on a necklace. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Are you actually from Jacksonville? Like... Is what is Jacksonville? Like, really, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like... Uh, yeah. It was on a... I, I think it was on a name tag or something. Okay. I don't even know if it was mine. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a lot of collaborative world building where you get to fill in details <laughs> of this, the 10 million years of the future. Um, so, yeah, that you, you don't know much about Jacksonville. You just and you don't even know if you are from Jacksonville. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I know. I'm, I know I'm a mascot. Mm -hmm. I'm an alligator and I kill lots of people. OK, uh, well, I mean, and then I probably kill the same person way more than once. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Over the years. Again, killing somebody just causes them to have amnesia. and takes about a century to get back up and going. So I'm pretty sure, like, I've just been walking around. I've seen someone that, like, it looks like they're missing a body part. I look on my necklace, like, <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, or it might have been, like, uh, maybe those are just uh, body parts you've taken from the uh, uh, many, many mannequins and uh, life-sized Funko Pops. I cannot, I cannot uh, discount that. Yeah, that's true. Um, so we're just going to begin with an action scene, um, and, uh, to get into the cart racing, uh, you will, and we're totally going to ignore the fuel rules. Cause why would you have fuel rules for cart racing? That's ridiculous. That's the one part about yeah, this. Don't, supplement. please don't make me, don't make me laugh. I'm not, I'm not going to keep track of gas. Uh, that's silly unless it's <laughs> a plot point. This isn't in which auto case, duel. Yeah, it's not. It really isn't. Um, so we're uh, going to start with it is it is a circuit. Uh, everyone is <coughs> it's just kind of come uh, known to everybody that uh, in order to, you can't just go find the star traveler and get to him. You have to win the circuit or yes, have to at least compete in the circuit for you qualify for the final race to reach the stairs to the heavens. Um, oh God, yeah, it's it's going to be Rainbow Road. I just know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh the it's a very original idea Tom. so you just shut your mouth <laughs> i'm sorry yeah. i'm sorry Ross. i don't know where that came from uh, yeah I don't know. rainbow road and then in a prism pathway yes there we go <laughs> <laughs> yes that's what i was saying um so this Respectum is the speedway um 
this is a car. Uh, this race, the track looks like uh, uh, giant Hot Wheels plastic tracks over a plastic city filled with plastic people. Um, but you have three competitors. Uh, I love the way plastic. Burns. And uh, you don't have to win to go on, but if you win, the first, third, and second place do get prizes. Uh, so uh, I love prizes. You do love prizes. Um, so why don't we start uh, with the your comp your competitors? There's there's competitor one, two, and three. Um, I have their stats, but I haven't figured out what they look like. So each of you can describe what one of these racers looks like and kind of name them uh, to give them a little flavor. So they could look like a fantasy thing. They could look like uh, thunder, or they could look like something left over from the time of the humans. They could look like a Mad Max fucked up thing. Uh, it's really up to you. So um, everything is possible uh, in this. But uh, yeah, uh, Chris, who who is one of your competitors? He is he he, he is a, a, an enormously enormously obese, but yet tremendously strong. Like 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 for as bad as he is, there's still muscle definition on him. A uh, 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 caveman, caveman. Okay. They, they, you know, they, 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 you know, five o'clock shadow. You know, mm-hmm. humongous underbite. You know, brow is so heavy, and and you know, like you can't you can't really make out his eyes. Unga bunga. You you know, like a loincloth club kind of like thing. And and, uh, and and the club has been uh, uh, fashioned with, a, with 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 an addition. What does this? What does this? What does my caveman have attached to his club so he can so he may further punish his foes? Oh yeah, I know this. This is a uh, a little gecko tied to a rope uh, that he really hates. <laughs> like, <laughs> he hates this gecko so much uh, because the gecko, according to the caveman, cursed him. To be in some some kind of play or show that was universally panned, uh, he calls it a sitcom. That, that whatever that, the hell that is, whatever the hell that is. But yeah, he he hates uh, Gaikokas, uh, the gecko. Um, <laughs> uh, awesome. So it is. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, there's a little gecko on there. Um, so yeah, he can it has gecko in a rope. Um, so he can do cool things with that, or we'll see. Um, and uh, see Amanda. Uh, so my competitor, mm-hmm. yeah, one of the three competitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One They're of the trying to win too. Yeah, yeah. So um, he is made of like uh, marble or granite. Like he's all made of Ooh. rock. He he looks like a statue. Like it, it was supposed to be like an honorary statue, uh-huh. but he it's just it's just not flattering. It's just it's like that. Yeah. So. Bad, a badly made marble statue. Yeah, like he's like a student project. It's like something that I don't remember the humans, but I I heard about them and I made this based off of what they told me humans look like. So it's like just real exaggerated features. Oh, and, okay, you know. like a photocopy of a photocopy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow, boy, he's very resentful. He's yeah. He swears he was better sculpted back when he was made, uh, but you know, no one believes him. No one can remember otherwise. Nobody knows. Yeah. Uh, all right. Very good. Uh, and uh, Tom. Third competitor is Tin Can Jen. Tin Can Jen. She right. basically imagine uh, like a fifties robot, like uh, Rosie from the Jetsons. Uh huh. Only like she has got like you know spikes carved into her. She, <laughs> uh, she you know she ha- you know she has like uh like, she has like you know a necklace of like razor blades. Yeah. And. Uh, Mo like spite you know like mohawk made of knives going down the back of her head. Jeez. And uh, she has all kinds of like you know she has like all kind like like markings all over painted you know painted in the I'm doing air quote blood mm-hmm. of her victims. Damn, that's pretty. So intense. it's that's many different kinds of liquid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Very good. Um. So and yeah, and yeah, she and yeah, you know, and she you know, but you know, she talks like a pleasant maid robot. Ooh. Like she can't ever get rid of her pleasant demeanor. Okay, but she's like threatening to. Oh, kill but she's me. oh, she's utterly bloodthirsty. Have a unpleasant race. I hope that you uh, fall under your wheels and are ripped apart by them. Right, right. <laughs> Have you seen the sublime uh, image of blood on pavement? Yes, you, you will, will. <laughs> very soon. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, all six of you are lined up on the same note. There's no pole position. Everyone's equal uh, in the starter race. Uh, so, uh, you know, there is a, a floating turtle in a cloud with a, a stoplight. Um, wait, yeah. I need to imagine it. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's there. Yeah. <laughs> I took a snapshot in my brain. Very original idea, man. So uh, this, is all, absurdity. This, is, this is avant-garde role playing, all right? This is this is some advanced shit. Um so uh we'll just begin with initiative. Uh so basically you uh should have a thing on your sheet saying what your initiative is. And Check out the initiative system. Uh the way this is gonna work is um do, 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 do. I don't need this. I don't need this. I need the stats. Okay, there we go. Uh, we all need stats. Sometimes. We do need stats. Um, so, uh, initiative, they have plus one. All right. All right. Do, 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 do. 13. Uh, seven. And 15. All right. So, uh, basically, the way this works is this round, this race is going to last eight rounds. Um, and right now, no one and uh, the the uh, every round, everyone has to make a driving check. Uh, and the top three winners are in the top three places. Now, um, if you attack somebody or hurt somebody, that gives them a, dri- a penalty on their next driving check. Um, and whoever is in first, third in place in the eighth round wins the race. Sounds simple. Uh, you can also give yourself bonuses to buffer up your next driving checks. Uh, and obviously, if your cart is destroyed, uh, then you you know, have to repair it, which will, you know, uh, 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 you know, so all, we're not going to worry about the race track itself in terms of how long it is. It's all relative, right? It's whoever gets across first, third, first. Yeah. So that's all that matters is who's first, second, third at the end of round eight. Um, but right now nobody's in any round. We'll determine that at the end of the round. So, uh, and obviously certain moves, if you're in first place, obviously you can't like do range attacks or attack people cause they're behind you. You can only, you know, race harder. Uh, there are item crates that have items you can grab. Uh, obviously trying to grab one and staying in position is going to be harder than just racing for advantage. Um, and, uh, but if you roll natural 20, you can obviously get a crate and, you know, win. Um, so this is, we're going to like kind of feel out the rules, everything else like that. So, um, I have my initiative, so let's see here. Do, 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 do. All right. So Chris, what is your initiative? Uh, sorry. Uh, Vitruvius. It's a total of a uh, 12. 12, all right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Lorna, what is your initiative? 10. 10. Uh, eight. Yeah, 8. And I don't know if deed actually counts. Might your, your action die counts for initiative. Uh, I th- Let me double check. Because you might get... Uh, no, it only counts for... Attacks and damage, right? Yeah, attacks and damages, yeah. Well, I'll make use of that. Yeah. Um, and you, uh, sorry, wait, initiative. Oh, you do add your class level to it, so... So, nine. Nine, all right. So, uh, ten is going first. Um, and she also has a uh, plus one on her driving check. Now, your driving check is going to be a roll, and you can roll it in different ways. The default thing is agility, uh, but you can make intel. You can you can make a case like, oh, I I'm a very smart driver. I'm going to figure out the course and make my intelligence. Or, or I'm, I'm a very aggressive driver. I'm going to use strength, or I'm going to go through the dirt and roll stamina, or I'm going to do this, or you know, uh, I'm going to do that. We you can also use teamwork. You just give up a, a, a role to give someone else an advantage and go go in sixth place. You know, um, again, this is only to sort of get you familiar with the racing mechanics and. Um, to give you additional magical items, because you you will get magical items if you get any any places. So yes. Uh, so anyways, uh, so tin can's gonna roll. She rolls like shit. Uh, so that that that's good. Um, and then let's see who's next. Uh, she's just but uh, oh bother. Uh, caveman does very well. Gets a nineteen on his racing. What an asshole. So um. Then uh, let's see, Vitruvius, your 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 next act. Okay, so uh, let's you can see. just kind of describe what you want to do narratively, and I'll figure out okay, how so, to do. So, how... so, are we off the starting line? Yeah, you're on. You're you. you the the it is just hit go. Just hit go. Uh, two racers, two of the NPCs have gone before you because they're quicker. Hit pedal to metal, but like this is the opening seconds of the race. Okay, sure. Okay, let's see if I got anything fun going on here. So you can cast a spell. Uh, um, if I cast enlarge on my engine, will you let me go faster? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I will definitely do that. That definitely makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. So I just I just roll and check the spell result then. Yeah. Okay. 
two negative one to spell check, so I had a two loss failure. Okay. So I guess I just smoke out. Uh, you can roll a driving check. You're, you will have a negative two penalty because you tried to cast a spell. Ooh, natural 20. Okay, well, then there, yeah. Uh, but, of course, it because... Uh, well, natural 20, yeah. So even though you're casting a spell, uh, you've got a natural 20. So unless somebody beats that, you'll be in first place. Neat. Uh, yeah, natural 20s are really good. Um, so uh, next up would be Lorna. Um, already, I guess I just do a driving check, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, against that's, agility? You can, whatever attribute you, you can make a case for. So there's different driving, agility would be the default one. Yeah, I, I'll go for agility, I guess. Okay, yeah. And I failed terribly, I got a five. All right, a five, that's fine. Uh, that just means you're, I mean, you're still ahead of Tin Can Jin. Oh, uh, thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, so, uh... Then finally, uh, what was it? Jacksonville, Johnny. There's only one way to drive, and that is very aggressively. Okay, yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, you can do a deed. Uh, how, how, long, how often can I do that? Do it every round. Then I'm doing a deed. Okay. Uh, now, if you don't succeed, if you don't get a five or six on a D6, then the deed does not work. Okay. So you have to do two things. So it's higher stakes, higher reward. So, uh, just to let you know. So basically the way the deed works is you roll D6, you need a five or a six, then you need to succeed on your skill check or attack. Okay, well, all right. Nope, don't. All right. Now, uh, you could burn luck for that if you want to do that, but obviously that's permanent. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you can just make a driving check with a negative two because you tried a deed and failed. Wow. What'd you get? A two. A two, all right. Yeah, the, uh, that's before the negative two. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, I guess we know who's in last place. <laughs> yeah, you just burn out. You're just like, uh, you know, you're holding down the acceleration before it hit, goes green. You just, yeah, you can't do that. You got to goose it. Yeah. For some reason, I go, Aah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and finally, the marble. The Actually, marble I guess I, sound, I, I would sound more like Bowser, I think. Uh, that, the marble statue. All right. So, uh, first place right now is Chris. Uh, second place is Caveman right behind you. Uh, and then everyone else is just, uh, uh, let's see here. Sucking shit, uh, basically. Um, but third place is actually tied between Lorna and the marble statue. You two are neck and neck. Just going back and forth. So you're side by side. Um, then Tin, uh, Tin Can Jin. And then finally, Jacksonville Johnny. I'm only here because I want to be. Yeah, so that's round one. Uh, I'm waiting for the blue shell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are item crates. Uh, that is the thing you could do. It would give you a negative penalty of two on your check, but I will roll. Your first crate will be free. Other crates will be harder to get. You may risk damage or something like that, or you may have to make a check. Um, so I would say in the first round, there's no crates nearby, so your natural 20 would not get you a crate. But like crates will have one-use items. They're only good for this race. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so that's just in place. We're going to keep the same initiative. Uh, so Tin Can Jin uh is going to uh attack uh is right behind you uh lorna okay uh and so tin can jane is going to throw a tin can at you um you know with a bunch of razor blades on it to try uh. and puncture your tires uh she's a dirty fighter so uh what is your armor class the dirty uh, this right here yeah so if it says 14 10 base i don't Dennis base, yeah, you have 14. She rolled a 16. Um, so she would hit you. Now you can spend your action to uh, get out of the way. That'll give you a negative two in your driving check, but then you can make uh, a save. Or you can just take the damage on your cart uh, and keep going. Your cart has an uh, amount of hit points. By the way, yeah, let me give you your cart stats. Because uh, your carts have their own stat. And you can damage them. And All right, so everyone write this down. Um, you have a class two cart. It has AC 11, and you can ram with it uh, for D4 plus 1 damage, um, and it has 10 hit points. Um, and let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, now we'll also do driving checks when you, you, you can lose control if you roll a 3 or less. I believe. Um, uh, which uh, some, yeah. 
Uh, we're not going to do that every round, but if you're all natural one, uh, or if somebody hits you, uh, you may have to make a driving check to avoid going out of control. That's how we'll do that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can take the damage to your cart, or you can uh, try and st- you can try and dodge out of the way. How much damage do I take? Uh, it will be a D three. One to three. Okay. Um, can I get HP back for my cart later somehow? There are item carts that will help heal you, repair your thing, and you can take actions to repair your cart while you're racing, and you can repair the cart fully in between races. Um, I guess I'll just take the hit. All right. Cart takes one point of damage. All right. Uh, you roll over the tin can. Your tires are. Uh, you hear uh, maybe they're, they're maybe they it got a leak, but it's it, they're still you're still racing, so right. you're still going. Um, <coughs> and let's see. So she gets a negative two on her driving check, uh, which gives her a sixteen. Uh, so she's doing very well. Um, she's driving pretty aggressively. Uh, he hates her so much. Then the caveman. Um, he is right behind you, uh, Vitruvius. Um, so he is going to try to ram you uh, with his card. Okay. Uh, um, so let's see if he makes it. He does. He gets a 15. Does that hit your armor class? AC 11, yes. Yeah, okay. So um, you can take the damage and make a normal driving check. Mm-hmm. Um, or you can uh, try and dodge out of the way, but I'll give your... Uh, which would be, basically, do you want to make one driving check at standard or two driving checks at a penalty? But you can avoid the damage if you do that. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid the damage because because it's, it's, it's at least one d four plus one, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to avoid. So I roll agility first. Mm-hmm. Twelve plus one. Yeah, that's, you, that's yeah, thirteen. You just need a ten. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you dodge out of the way. Right. Uh, so that was your reaction. Very good. And let's see how he does on his driving check. Uh, he gets a uh, 11. So, because he took a penalty. Um, now you get to return, uh, Vitruvius. It's an initiative call. Okay, so do I have a penalty on my drive check now? Uh, yes, negative okay. two. Oops, sorry. <laughs> two. So, essentially, it's a hero. All right, give me another driving check to see if you uh, spin out. 18. All right, you do not spin out, uh, but you are probably going to be in last place. Uh, I just imagine you, when you spin out, you make the sound like Waluigi does. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forget that I have to turn right sometimes. Yeah, so I'm just, I just I'm <laughs> hit the wall. First time playing Mario Kart. Be gentle. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, next up, we have Lorna. I haven't gone. Uh, I know, we're, we're going on initiative. Okay, I thought we're on a new round already. Yeah, we are. Oh, others! I thought I thought I was I was thought I was going last. No, uh, your initiative nine. Uh, Amanda is ten. We just did twelve. I have well, I'll shut up then. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> or will I? All right. It would be. It would be uh, anyway. Uh, Bonus Lorna. content. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll fight. Um, so we're on round two of eight, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and if I were to like use one of my spells, like this is the only one that actually seems useful Mm -hmm. um like how would that like i know how to roll for it but i'm saying like what it does like how do i put it on somebody like if i put it on just tell me what your intention is like what do you want to like if you can just narratively describe yeah so what to happen what i i can figure out the dice yeah so what i want to happen is to use my cantrip on somebody Mm -hmm. so i want to use like a visual effect so i okay. want it to look like lightning in their face but like how do i pick somebody to because it says you know up what? to 20 feet so i'm like i don't know where everybody's um, at um we're right now you're in the back um the marble racer and tin uh right now marble racer is closest to you okay um i would say tin uh just shot up uh, Tim Can Jenny uh, just shot up, so she's no longer close to you. So yeah, we'll just use the racing order. Like I'm keeping track of that every round. Okay, so then I want to use this on Marble because they're okay. right in front of me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, actually, they're right side by side with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, so twelve. Uh, 
simple visual effect. Okay. Um, so I want it just like a. All right. So he will have to make a save. Uh, right. And if he rolls low, then he will crash. Uh, then he will just be. Uh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, and he crashes. Okay. So you just got out your laser pointer. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, that is basically what happened. Um, and so he will lose his action. Um, treat it as zero, and he'll have a negative two. Uh, uh, and now he'll. Just, I'll just put a negative two on here. So yeah, you can stack up penalties on him. So he'll have negative two until he can make a save against that. So, All right. Uh, good job, honey. Yeah. Thank you. I uh, rolled the dice really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and don't forget, you, you spellcasters can burn off stuff. Uh, you can also narratively describe teamwork and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you just take out all three other racers, then you three are going to win. So, um, it, it is, uh, yeah. Uh, but don't take myself out. Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, that was ten. Uh, now we have nine. So, Jacksonville Johnny. Um, I'm going to try another deed. Yeah. This one's gonna t- I'm going to try to gain and grab an item at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So... Four, no. You could burn off a point of luck and do that. I'll do it sometime. Yeah. All right. Uh, with your deed, uh, I would say you, you, you're you doing it better than even they could possibly do that. So um, what what kind of thing are you looking for? Are you looking for a defensive item or an offensive oh, item? Clearly or something off- to, clearly offensive. Or something to help you go faster. Clearly offensive. Offensive, okay. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Um... Oh, here we go. Sapphire Scarab. Um, they quantum entangle their targets and hunt them to their doom. Uh, so, yeah, you have a Sapphire Scarab. So it's a homing weapon. So I can lock on to someone? Yep. Uh, you could do that right now, or you could save it. Lock on to the one, to the one in, in the lead. Uh, let's see here. Right now... Uh, yeah, that like- would be Tin Can Jin. Uh, yeah, so... She will have to make a save. Um, uh, and she does not. So, uh, do you want me to roll the d12? Hmm. I will roll it. All right. Eight. Eight, yeah. Uh, eight damage. All right. So, it blows her out of the water. She goes down to zero uh, on her init- on her place in the race. So, she will be tied with last place. With marble, um, and uh, go ahead and give me a racing check now to see how well you do. Not well. What'd you get? Uh, Five. Five. So okay. plus one. Yeah, six. Six. Okay. Not you know better than better than Vitruvius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think. Uh, oh yeah. What? Uh, go ahead and make a racing check. Sorry, Lorna. Uh, you did not. I figured out the secret. The oh, accelerator's got a long, skinny one. Plus agility. Uh, zero, <laughs> so just 15. All right. Good job, man. Um, yeah, you race very well. Uh, so, in fact, right now, you're, you're the, in first why, place. Oh, you're the no wizard. way. Yeah. All right. Uh, probably because two of the enemy racers have been got, uh, been taken out. Uh, they done, they done been got. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So, now we are at round three. Uh, the... Tin Can Jin uh, is in the is in the back and is going to spend a round to recover. Uh, let's see here, Caveman though he he is up. Uh, he sees what's going on. Uh, what did he get last time? He got eleven, so he's not too far. He's behind you, um, and he is going to do a special attack where he's going to like he swings his club. Uh, the gecko starts screaming uh, in Australian. In Australian, and I uh, know it's a very vaguely British accent. Uh, it's very polite. Uh, oh, kind of posh. Yeah, very posh. Yeah. Uh, he's screaming. Don't about, bother. No, I'm not insured. Um, <laughs> and he's going to try and latch onto you, uh, Lorna, and pull you off your cart. Um, so, but you need to be on there. Yeah, yeah I should be. Yeah. So he is going to try and do that because he gets to go and he gets a fifteen. Uh, so um, you can. Uh, he, so the gecko's grabbed onto your hair, um, <laughs> and it, you, you feel like you're being ripped off. You're getting pulled <laughs> off the cart uh, as uh, the caveman is actually uh, hitting the brakes to try and yank you off. Um, oh, wow! Yeah. So uh, how are you going to react to this? I'll determine what you have to roll. Uh, this freaking guy. <laughs> All right. So I have a question mm-hmm. about this spell. So the spell is detect magic. Yeah. I can't uh, imagine needing to actually detect magic 
in yeah. here. Mm-hmm. But if I want to use the mercurial magic, uh-huh. I could still roll mm-hmm. for this mm-hmm. and then use my mercurial magic, correct? Uh, what does the mercurial magic do? Um, so. It lets me unleash a plague of rats and other rodents. Which I would really like to do to the caveman right now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You need to get at least a twelve in order to actually cast the spell. So this would be an example of using um, uh, spell burn. You can burn off temporary points of your attributes uh, in order to like get, give yourself a bonus. So uh, your your strength, agility, or stamina. You can you can temporarily sacrifice it uh, to give yourself a bonus to the roll. You have to say that now though. Uh, Do I get another die though? Because this goes all the way up to thirty-two plus. No, right? you can get a lot of bonuses, and also with spell burn, you could burn. Oh, off, okay. Like you know how you said your strength is eleven. Yeah. You could burn off all ten. You could burn off ten points to give yourself a plus ten. Uh, but I would have to. Decide but then you that would have a, you would have a strength of one, which means you would not be able to lift yourself up. Yeah, uh, so you, we don't necessarily want to do that. Yeah, yeah. So can I, I burn off my seven personality? No, you can only do physical attributes. <laughs> okay. It's only your physical thing. You're physically hurting yourself in order to power your magic. Um, so, yeah, you can also just burn luck or you could just roll and see if that happens. So I could burn luck, though. Yeah. yeah. But if you get less, th- if your spell fails, the plague of rats does not happen. Okay. So if I roll this uh-huh. and let's say I say I want to burn like five of my luck. Yeah. Uh, oh. Well, you can luck. Well, there's burning luck and spell burning, which are two separate things. Oh, okay. So how does luck work? Well, luck is permanent. So you see your luck score. Yeah. What is it? Fifteen. So you have fifteen points of luck. You can burn them on any roll, but once they're gone, they're gone. Like the spell burn stuff, you can heal that back. Okay. But that's for the rest of the game. You are not going to have that luck. So you do have a shitload of luck, though. I know. I feel like I have a lot. And you can, the thing also about luck is you can spend it after you roll. You can spend just enough to get a spell result. Oh, so I don't have to say so now with luck. Yeah, spell Only burn you spell do. Burn. Yeah, spell burn oh, you do okay. because you heal it back, right? Like, yeah. So it's not as bad. Well, then I'm just going to roll. Mm-hmm. And then if I need to use some luck, I'll use some luck. There's also a rule saying if you spend, if you burn 20 points of attributes through spell burn, you automatically succeed. But that's 20 <laughs> points of attributes. I don't even know if you have enough. You have to keep at least one in each attribute to stay alive. Which attributes does it count for? Strength, agility, and stamina? Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just going to roll. Um, yeah, roll. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stuff. I want to make sure you understand the mechanics. Right? No, no. I appreciate you explaining yeah. it to me. I'm learning a lot every time yeah. we do this. Yeah, so. yeah. Each game is different, too. We're also yeah. playing different games. So, yeah. So, all right. Uh, is that a nine? Yeah. Uh, the bo- you see how the little yeah. part, uh, dots at the bottom? Yeah. So if I burn three luck right now, that would be 12. Yeah. And um, then a plague of rats would happen. Which... Um, so yeah, so I want to burn three luck. Can I just mark yeah. it off on here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, your luck is now permanently 12. Okay. Uh, I like to think all the rats have like the Mickey Mouse. Like, oh! <laughs> they all, uh, they all yeah, appear. no, they're Oswaldo mouses. They're, they're little uh, <laughs> copyright, <laughs> legally distinct cartoon mi- mice. Um, Mikhail. Mi- yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Oswaldo's. Uh, when you were describing this game, I kept thinking of the uh, the production art for Epic Mickey. You yeah. remember the early stuff oh, of yeah, that? Yeah, you know, yeah. People were like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, that's very much the vibe we're going for. Uh, a little bit, but you know, more more psychedelic even. Um, so uh, yeah, that attack just automatically fails because there's a plague of rats now. Uh, so you can, uh, so a plague of rats erupts uh, from Lorna, uh, 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 from your clothes, just from everywhere. From just the hair swarm. that he's got to grab on. Um, so it's going to give everybody a negative two on their driving check this round, aside from you. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and give me a driving check to see how well you do. This will be a base. Boy. Okay, give me another check to see if you crash. Rolling a lot of twos tonight, aren't we? Two! All right, you do crash. What the fuck? I'm yeah. not rolling the die on that side of the table anymore. <laughs> all right, switch. I mean, that's, clearly, that's clearly the problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's. I get to roll a d14, uh, which is a real number. A real die. Thanks, Goodman Games. You got a four. The cart flips. Uh, you take one d four damage. Uh, let's see here. That is two. Uh, you take two damage. Um, are you still alive? Where do I put the damage against? Uh, so this is your hit points for your character. Oh, okay. So now I'm at four. Yeah. yeah. Your cart takes two damage. Uh, you are knocked prone. Um, so you are going to be at a zero for this round, and you yeah. will have to spend next round to recover. 
Um, and, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, let's see how the caveman does. Uh, he actually, yeah, he gets a 12, uh, all things considered. So he actually races past it. Uh, so you, you, you won, but you, you won the battle, but you lost the war, uh, as the plague of rats are too much for you to handle. Um, the caveman ably gets around them. Uh, and we'll see. Let's see here. Uh, 10 is not, let's see here. Then next is, uh, Vitruvius. Your driving tech's going to have a negative two because of the plague of rats on the, on the track. Oh, rats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Vitruvius wants to, again, try to enlarge his engine because in dead last, the only thing left to do is to try to just burn as much rubber. Catch up. Mm-hmm. All right. So once again, he will attempt to enlarge his engine. Okay. 12. All right. Um, does that uh, that's that's not a failure on a large? The uh, the target increases in size and mass by ten percent because visibly larger and potentially intimidating, but not enough to confer statistical bonuses. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to say for cart though, it would give you a meaningful engine performance. Okay. So uh, I'll give you a plus four so on your, your drive checks. Yeah, yeah. Swell. How long does it last? Let's see here. Does it say have a drive? Being in the situation is maybe enough to reach a list. It's just uh, armor and equipment. Uh, it might have duration at the top. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's based on the result. Uh, oh, duration one turn per caster level. Okay. Well, so, just this is the next drive check. It's just the one. Ah, whatever. Well, you get a plus four in this one and the next one. All right. Oh, a natural twenty on the drive check. Oh shit! Jeez. All right. So you get a free item. Uh, you. Oh no, it's a D ten. Uh, do you get a? Uh, uh that's not we are not using fuel so um i'll go again <laughs> uh you get a ruby scarab um warrior beetles that refuse to let a car escape by chewing straight through the metal target within 60 feet uh makes a reflex save or suffers damage uh tries for 1d3 three rounds until it hits scarab never lets up so yeah so it's like a red shell yeah yeah so yeah. No, it's totally it's a red scarab. Yeah, it's a scarab. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you compare it to shells. That's weird. It's legal it's legally different. It's legally distinct. Uh <laughs> so um very good. Uh so yeah, with a natural twenty, uh you are definitely in first place, uh, unless somebody can beat that. Uh or get another natural twenty. Um so uh Jacksonville Johnny. Again, driving aggressively to get up front. All right. Jesus. What'd you get? Uh, oh, so I'm adding uh, eight. Okay, eight. All right, that actually becomes a six because of the rats. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you gotta drive over rats. Sometimes you gotta drive over rats. Little babies. Um, so right now, as we go into round four, uh, Chris, uh, sorry, uh, Vitruvius is uh, first place. Uh, the caveman is in second place. And actually... Uh, you are in third place because everyone else has crashed. Um, now, uh, as we're in the fourth round, though, uh, Tin is going to make a roll with a negative four to see what place she will be in now because she's spent two rounds getting, you know, back up. Uh, she rolls very well. So, uh, Tin Can is back in the race a little bit. And then, uh, let's see how the caveman does. Caveman rolls like shit. Uh, yes, he is shit. Damn. Uh, so Vitruvius, if you say in first place again, you'll get another plus four bonus. So you already have a plus four bonus from enlarge. It pays to be a winner. That's a seven total, but that's not a that's not a success, right? It has to be over ten. No, it's just uh, this is just the racing check. Oh, so then it's a yeah. total of seven with the four bonus. All right, so that's eleven. Uh, so right now the tin can will start beating you, uh, but you're still in the race. Uh, sorry, I didn't ask if you wanted to do anything else, but you're just focusing on racing, though, right? Well, I was in first place when I made that roll, so I had no reason to believe that someone's going to pass me. Right? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. All right, so uh, let's see here. Then, uh, Lorna, uh, you flip over your cart and uh, get back in the race. So uh, next round, you'll be able to race again. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Jacksonville Johnny. Hmm. Driving aggressively. Let's okay. let's do this shit. Finally, maybe, hopefully. These ain't Florida rats. Florida rats will get you. Now we're talking. Yeah. That is a fourteen. A fourteen. Okay. Uh that is very good. So you are just. I'm doing a lot of gear shifting dramatically too. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the marble guy gets to go. <laughs> Uh, he gets an 11. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. 
Uh, wait a, all right. So as we get around five, uh, Tin Can Johnny is up front, uh, followed right by Jacksonville Johnny. And then Vitruvius and the Marble Statue are head neck and neck. Uh, and then uh, Amanda is in. Let's see here. And then Caveman is in the back. And then followed by uh, Lorda. Mm-hmm. So uh, Tin Can is going to roll again. Uh, rolls a 10. Let's see. Also known as the Tin Can Hitman. <laughs> uh, then the Caveman. Rolling like shit, just terrible. Um, I road kill, and uh, let's see here. Uh, Vitruvius. So right now, uh, Tin Can is be uh, your neck and neck with Tin Can. Um, and the, first, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, right now, uh, she rolled a ten for this round. So, um. So she's not doing quite as well right now, but nobody else has rolled. Only caveman has rolled. So right now, uh, you don't know how well you're going to do. So yeah. All right. Uh, can I but cast she... rope work to, to like tie her limbs and? Like, oh yeah, yeah. You awesome. can fuck her up with that. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna try to do some rope magic, folks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> All That's right, just wash the glass. I'm so excited. Just grab another D20. Yeah. All right. You got it. Gently now, Christopher. A natural 20. Jesus. God damn. All right. See, we just need to switch dice. Yeah. You just need to use the one die. That is clearly, is that a sharp edge dice? That's okay, not a sharp edge so dice. Yeah. For... Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. What'd you get uh, uh, on the, uh... I guess I just read cast for summons the rope as above using the existing rope or the summon one. He can command the rope to rise into the air. The rope can rise straight up at an angle or hang in the air horizontally. It does not need to be anchored to anything. It will support 40 pounds of weight. I kind of wanted to command this thing to tie stuff around the rope. Okay, yeah. Uh, she will get a say, but she will be like a... Yeah, no, she, she fails. So, uh, yeah, she's back out of the race again. So, nice. Yeah, good job. Um, and uh, go and give me a racing check. At a disadvantage of two, right? Uh, yeah, because you cast a spell. That is going to be eight. All right. So, right now you're in the win, but, you know... We, Lorna, you get to go next. Um, so I'm in the last place. Uh, right now, yeah. Um, you could uh, attempt with a negative two, uh, do a shortcut and get get you back. Uh, uh, if you, um, actually no, it wouldn't be at a penalty. So you get a plus four to your roll, but um, there would be a chance that something bad could happen to you. Basically, uh. Yeah, again, this is a plastic track over a plastic city, right? Um, there is a gap in the track that would go on to lower on the track. Uh, okay. But if you miss it, you will take some damage, probably. So you need at least a 10. Uh, so if you roll less than a... Basically, if you roll less than a 5, you'd take damage. But if, otherwise, you would get a plus 4 to your roll. Okay, so I'll roll that. Yeah, yeah. I'll roll for trying to make the jump. Yeah, yeah. 19. Damn, all right. So, um, yeah, you're in first place again. Um, and then Jacksonville Johnny. I'm going to make an event, make a, you know, use a deed, try mm-hmm. to get, try to pull, you know, pull it into first place. Okay. Five. All right. Now make a driving check. Your success is going to be a lot better now because you, sure. you're doing a deed. Uh, 18. 18. Damn. All right. You are neck and neck with uh, Lorna. He's like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the marble gets to go uh, and rolls a three. I have not seen this marble statue at all. <laughs> yeah, he's rolling like shit. He's just been getting his... Just... Is he so heavy? Yeah, that's really true. Like he really needs a heavier category of card. Yeah. His engine cannot support him. Um, or he can shave some stone off of him. Let's see here. So Tin Can is going to try and get out of the rope and fail. Uh, caveman lost his gecko. By the way, the rats ate the gecko. So uh, <laughs> um, he'll be back. He's going to try and get, take it a negative of two so he can get an item. Um, and he fails, and he rolls a natural one, so he crashes. Uh, this guy, this freaking guy, this freaking guy. Uh, is this a bunka yeah. <laughs> bunka? <laughs> rolls a twelve on the crash table, which is probably really bad. Um. Oh, he's knocked unconscious. Uh, for th- okay, so uh, the, the caveman's out of the out of the race. He uh, uh, tried to get an item uh, 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 an item crate, 
gra- uh, misses it and then slams into a wall and knocks himself out. So, uh, <laughs> so you kind of win by at this point. Uh, uh, only yeah, uh, uh, the marble is left. Let's just see how he rolls. Uh, he, he's doing okay, but he's behind. Uh, so really, just you three and the marble statue left uh, as we're going into the home stretch. So we'll just shorten this up to one more round um, in determining your. Uh, 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 so right now, Jacksonville, Johnny, and Lorna are neck and neck, and then Chris, you're pretty, you're a little far behind them, and then marbles in between you, and so it's basically first place is Amanda, second place is Tom. Uh, the marble statue is actually third place now, and you're fourth place. Mm. As we're going into the last just turn, um, so uh, yeah, we'll just start with the players uh, first. Um, so actually, no, we'll, we'll we'll yeah yeah we'll start with uh, Chris. Your you, your last action. All right, time to time to use this red scarab. Okay, Are you, you going to use it on them? Uh, the uh, the statue, yes. All right. Uh, yeah, he gets hit. Uh, he needed to make a 15 or better on his roll and he did not. So, uh, let's see if he gets a lot of damage. Uh, nope. He only got one damage. So, uh, but that is going to make his driving check harder. So, uh, and he rolls a two. So that becomes a one. So, All right. uh, mission accomplished. he rolls a natural one on his crashing table. So he Idiot. crashes as well. So, he died. He crashes. So it's, yeah, you really, uh, really, it's down to all of you three about, like, uh, so you make a driving check at negative two. One, two. Oh, wait, two. Two. Okay. Um, and then Lorna, this is going to determine who's first, second, and third. So, really, between you three. So, uh, Do I have to go next? Yeah. So Chris rolled a two. Uh, he took out the the last competitor, the marble statue. Yeah, so it's just it's just good guys now. So we're seeing you're basically rolling to see if you get first or second. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then yeah. Jacksonville Jackson over there still has to go after me, right? Yeah, you two are just rolling off to see who's going okay. to get first and second. Okay. Unless we'll you just... want to like try and like I don't just know roll of one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could crash. Yeah, that'd be funny. All right. <laughs> Ross, you're adorable. 20! Holy smokes. All right, Tom. The only thing that can beat her is a 20. Yep. And that's a, a natural 20. No bonuses or anything, right? Yeah, that was a natural 20. Yeah, I saw it. No, I mean, like, so that's what I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so 1 in 20 chance. Mm-hmm. Here we go. It's not a 20. What is it? It's a 5. All right. Uh, so first, second, third. So... <laughs> all right so lorna uh you actually get a very appropriate uh prize uh, for first place uh the uh judge uh is a um little animated person uh who uh looks like he came from the nintendo wii uh, (laughs) a digital thing brought to life uh there's little pleasant music playing uh vaguely synthesized but he says hello you have won congratulations here is your prize uh and it's a little figurine of a rat with sunglasses uh um, <laughs> this is the figurine of charles son of the rat uh it, it can create uh uh when you place it down and and say the command word of uh totally awesome uh he will uh become full size and do your bidding for one hour before returning Thank you. Yeah. You're, you're quite welcome. I'm responsible for this thing. Yeah, it's a little action figure that That's can wonderful. become a little robot to help you. It's a good children's book, The Responsible Elf. Yeah, this yeah. It's a really terrible uh, So second place. Um, this is, in terms of game mechanics, Jacksonville Johnny, this is a uh, potion of healing with four uh, sips in it. Each will heal six hit points. Um, but uh, what is it? What kind of beverage is this uh, for you? Oh, yes, it's clearly got to be Surge. Oh, yeah, Surge. Yes, it's an extra uh, travel size, uh, hard, rugged ice. Really like, but you have to activate it. Oh yeah, like, Surge. Oh yeah, yeah, you have to scream the Surge uh, and get the healing Surge. Like, and each time, then just a group, a whole group of people just start 
just doing a massive mosh race over something. <laughs> it's true. That, that's when you know it's working. Oh, yeah. Then you get the Mortal Kombat crowd going. and it's just <laughs> You know what? Screaming. If you roll play that very, very well, I'll give you a bonus on whatever you're trying to do. <laughs> you know I will. Uh, and finally, uh, Vitruvius. You get a wizard man. You get a scroll uh, that has the shatter spell on it. Uh, it can shatter inanimate objects. Um, so uh, I have the mechanics in here. Um, so whenever you want to shatter something once, you you can uh, like a cart or a wall or a bridge or whatever. Uh, you just let me know, and I'll let you know how it works. Excellent. Uh, yeah. So uh, put that down on your sheet. But yeah, you've won the first race. Uh, hey. c- uh, congratulations. Uh, now you can continue on. Um, there is a uh, 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 there are three races in total. Uh, but first, you have to get to the second race. Um, and as you leave the plastic city, uh, a storm breaks out, and um, it is a bear. It is a it is a uh, uh, this is sort of the at the edge of what was once one of the great cities. Um, but it is raining and it is nasty, uh, and you will have to cross a bridge, but, uh, who wants to narrate what, like, it looks like as you leave the Plastic City track, uh, and the safety of the, uh, the, every, where everything is, you know, plastic and eternal. Uh, this is where you're, you're in the outdoors now, like, the, all the build the buildings are falling apart, or have evaporated, maybe new buildings have been built, and civilizations have come and gone, you know, maybe there's a whole million years where there were cockroach people, and they, they, they went extinct. I don't know, you tell me, like, what is, what is the land, what does the wild look like, uh, 10 million years in the future? Um, the resentful hateful sun burns down on the versicolor dune of microplastics <laughs> spraying into our every orifice gumming up the works getting in the metal joints rusting rusting twisting in the heat so it is hot and uh <laughs> it is the storm season so it is humid uh fortunately there are storm clouds breaking over it uh so uh you don't have to worry about the heat quite as much it's the mo- humidity now uh, but what? Yeah, what, what's the terrain look like there, Jacksonville? It's very hilly. Hilly, yeah, okay. very hilly. Um, kind of like the kind of like the Black Hills of okay. South Dakota. All right. All the, also, and also in the distance, there is a a largish mountain. Yeah. With with four heads carved across it. Yeah. Heads of cockroaches. The heads of cockroaches. Yeah, yeah. From yeah, the cockroach like people. Some, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, he's like apparently like these were very important cockroaches. All right. So um, they were the top cocks. <laughs> the top cocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a penis joke, <laughs> or a rooster joke, I guess. Uh, so, uh, but you come to a bridge, uh, <clears throat> a wooden bridge over a uh, well, it used to be a ravine, but now it is flooding because again of the storms, uh, and unfortunately, not just water below. There, there are thousands of unopened Funko Pops uh, in the water, like uh, they're just rushing below you. The problem with this bridge, though, is also. Uh, the everything except two ruts have fallen away, and these ruts are too wide for your carts to pass. Um, you could walk over one rut yourself, but you need to get your cart over the other side of the bridge. Um, the three of you look at each other, trying to ponder how you're going to get your carts across the bridge. When you turn and look and see off to the side, you see a massive junkyard uh, filled with larger vehicles. Um, the three of you uh, quickly realize you could... Just if you can get a larger vehicle working that can fit over the ruts, you can just get load your vehicles onto the larger vehicle, then drive it over the bridge very carefully. Uh, and uh, then you can be on your way. Uh, but you have to uh, work together as a team in order to find a vehicle, get it working, and then guide it over this bridge that is extremely dangerous uh, right now. Is there like a ramp nearby that I can just like speed boost over? It? There's no ramp. There's no ramp. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I this is gonna be a whole fucking thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't no, I'm not an narrate all this shit for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna narrate all that. You're not bypassing this shit. This ain't no <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. So how do we bypass the game? Well, uh, we have we have cause to go and barter with the owner of this junk shop. What are you buying? What are you buying? Ooh, yeah. Maybe. So, yeah. Um, you got an idea? Oh, I was going to say, mm. I don't know, but maybe, I, maybe, later, you know, maybe later. I have detect magic. Maybe I could use that to see if any of these Ooh. cars have been enchanted. And, yeah, there are quite you know, a few vehicles. That might here. help us. But yeah, uh, as you get out, actually, a 
animated uh, tow truck appears. Hey, 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 what y'all doing around my, my junk heap? Um, I'm, I, I forgot my name, but I know I own this junkyard. I, okay, okay, I do have this question. Yeah. It's a matter of procuring a vehicle large enough to fit on the stretch to safely cross the bridge, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could my enlarged spell get our its respective carts large enough to do that? Um, how big can it get? Well, I, 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 the more successful you are at the spell, the 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 the, the great, the more exaggerated the enlarging is what I see. Yeah. So I'd have to be extraordinarily successful. You don't have to cast it three times. Yeah. So that's in our pocket. That's an option. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would say it would not really be an ideal solution because it's so dicey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so there's, there's the owner of the tow truck. Well, what do y'all want? Uh, so, so what do you, when, when folks tell you that they want to cross the bridge, what is it that you suggest to them? Oh, well, normally, uh, we'll just wait till the storm season ends. Uh, it should only be a week or two. Oh, well, I have cause to like, uh, 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 cross the bridge now. Uh, it is urgent. So if this was an emergency, what would you tell that person? Well, I suppose, uh, yeah, there's a number of larger vehicles you could get uh, uh, fix. I'll tell you what, you can use any of the vehicles here. If you fix them up and leave it on the other side of the bridge, then you done me a service by fixing one of these things. Uh, so you can you can just use any of these vehicles as long as you promise not to take it with you. OK, so uh, you can use my tools and whatnot and uh, fix it up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, on a wizard's honor. Yeah. <laughs> the what? That's <laughs> on a wizard's honor. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll let, uh, uh, what, there are a lot of vehicles here of, uh, uh, varying, uh, ages, uh, everything from large chariots and wagons, uh, to, uh, you know, cockroach chrysalis roadster. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That thing, uh, to regular sized trucks. There's some truck that says sorcerer written on it. It's like, Oh, that's weird. Um, they, <laughs> <laughs> Very Give me oh, a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, like uh, Lorna, what what vehicle draws your your eye uh, as a potential uh, transport for your carts? Um, it could be a just a big uh, uh, tow truck. Uh, it could be a um, maybe something uh, a parade float uh, vehicle like. Uh, it could be a, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I see over there, there's, it it looks like it's an old school bus that was converted, uh, like into like one of those van life things. uh, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, definitely did not get the maintenance it needed, but (laughs) it's going to be big enough for us to put all our carts in and all of us to get in Mm -hmm. and just make one trip across. So yeah. Exactly. I think okay. that that's probably the best one. Yeah, the van life bus. Yeah, yeah, uh, comfy is, seats and stuff. Yeah, there's plenty of space to put your carts mm-hmm. in. Um, so uh, yeah, are we all looking at cars here? Uh, yeah, you could nominate one if you and right. you can vote on what what. Uh, there's van life bus. All right, I have like the Zaibatsu monstrosity. Zamba- yeah, yeah. It is like it is designed designed to be the ultimate family SUV. Yeah. Especially when, like, it's for cockroaches, so it's when your family in numbers in the hundreds. <laughs> okay. It is, like, gigantic, like, la- you know, like, like not land, but, like, you know, land kreutz, you know, like, like a rat tank. But it's an SUV to transport a family of many hundreds. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Vitruvius, you're the tiebreaker. Uh, oh, wait, wait. And yeah. on the back is a sticker with, like, you know, two roach, two cockroach parents. Oh, yeah. And then, like, <clears throat> like. 930. Oh, yeah, just, 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 like, larva underneath. Yeah, 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 hundreds of stickers, yeah. <clears throat> I admire my friend's creativity, and in other circumstances, I would vote for it. But on the other hand, occupying a vehicle that I know has been driven by cockroaches is a hard sell. <laughs> Sounds gross. Thus, I will opt for the school bus. Right. I know there's probably been cockroaches in this, but it's not so explicit. <laughs> <laughs> I like the cockroaches. So, uh... Someone has to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the three of you can get to work, uh, in the, t- in the tool shed, uh, and, and bring this, this bus, uh, back to life, uh, working together. It takes you a few hours. Uh, but yeah, you don't sleep anymore. Like, yeah, you, 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 you're tireless. You were the ageless. <laughs> um, but, um, uh, so the way this is going to work is, um, one of you will pilot the truck. 
then um, one of you needs to get out in front of the truck to tell, like, sort of like, no, this way, no, this way, and sort of guide the truck. Uh, and then one person uh, can be like sort of hunched over in the engine uh, or like, you know, you have the hood up and just like keep the engine running uh, because it is it is a very old vehicle, millions of years old. Uh, uh, so uh, it takes a lot of love and care to keep it working. They built them to last. Yeah. Um, and so this is just a lot of hard work and excruciating thing. So you can make a roll. Um, or you can auto succeed on a roll if you have a flashback, uh, uh, about your past life, uh, where you're really like just being absolutely miserable. You're stuck out in the rain or like you're just suffering or you're in pain, just something about your past life that you remember, uh, uh, as you, you're going through this absolutely excruciating experience. I got something. Okay. So, uh, well, first of all, we need to assign roles. So who's going to drive the truck? Who's going to, okay, you'll drive. All right. Uh, who's going to guide the truck? Me. All right, Lorna. And then so you're working on the engine there, Vitruvius. <laughs> yes. Uh, you're just like on the top of it, like the hood is up. You have a little tarp to keep the rain out, and you're just like hunched over with a with a wrench ready to like whack at it whenever something happens. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, you're you're driving the truck slowly. The 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 again, there are only two ruts left on this bridge. Uh, and they strain under the weight of the bus as soon as you get on it. It holds, but you look over the side and there's just water and the dead eyes of a thousand Funko Pops per second rolling by you. They're, they're so goddamn, there are billions of these fucking things polluting the planet. They never rot. They never decay. They just are. They're still pristine in packaging. And I swear, at one point, I saw all of their heads turn at the same time. Yeah, they seem to be looking at you, staring daggers into your soul uh, as as they are. Uh, you still get to work around, but they are trapped in their little plastic uh, and the cardboard boxes. But you can tell they're yearning to be free. They are yearning to be free. And if that ever happened. Yeah, it'd be worse than the Plague of Rats. Um, so Plague of Pops. I guess the next time you're Plague of Rats, if you use your Plague of Rats again, they're going to be Funko Pop, Lord of Rats, uh, Lord of, yeah. <laughs> they might be. Yeah, they're, they're rat collectibles. So, um, yeah, Jacksonville, Johnny, give me, give us a flashback. All right. I'm back. It's like, I don't know when this was. This is time. It's really hard, but time it looks there. like there's a, uh, it looks like there's a, it's, a, I'm, I'm standing still and I can't move because no one seems to be controlling me right now, mm-hmm. which I don't know why that, why that's a thing, but apparently it is. And it's like, I think it's a sports team bus mm-hmm. that won't move. It's broken down no oh, no i and we can't get to the game we're oh gonna no miss, we're gonna miss the game this is and this is the big game it's a big game and i mean like and i'm like it's my responsibility to bring to you know, to get everyone pumped up so they can win i'm clearly the most important person on this team yeah and if i can't if i can't if i'm not there to get them pumped up the fuck's gonna happen yeah go on i think yeah I think I think I have to actually go and drive that bus myself to get it over to get to get over whatever this obstacle is stopping us. <laughs> okay, I'm taking over the bus. All right, uh, and and, yeah. they, and apparently there's I think I, there's you know shouts. I think they're like, uh, shouts of surprise, which I think is like I'm taking the initiative, or they're amazed that I'm moving on my own. I don't know what it is. Yeah, uh, but that's not that's not important right now. Yeah, you, you maybe maybe they didn't realize that you could do these things. Yeah, they were not, neither they, did I. Yeah, maybe yeah, you were. But I'm getting. I'm, I'm going to get them pumped up by getting this bus moving. Your awakening was a surprise. Uh, interesting. That's right. Interesting. So yeah. Um, so uh, Lorna, you're on one of the ruts, <coughs> uh, walking backwards, guiding this. It is pouring rain. You may be immortal. You may be ageless, but it's. You could still feel the cold. You could still feel pain. It was soaking into your bones. Uh, it absolutely fucking sucks. Um, yeah, so you can either roll or you can have a flashback. Bones. Uh, you can roll agility or intelligence um, to guide them. To guide them. Okay. Or you can, like, even if you fail, you can uh, then have a flashback of a time you were, sometime in the millions of years in the past, you were also out in the rain suffering. All right, I'm having a flashback. <laughs> All right. I'm having a flashback. I don't know I don't know when in time this was, but mm. it was I was I was creating outside. I was 
at a like an art festival mm -hmm. uh, back in my artisan days, and I am doing live paintings of my customers, and all of a sudden, quack. There's lightning right in front of me. A storm came out of nowhere. People are running. My art is getting scattered. Everybody's art is getting scattered. People are falling. It's mass hysteria. Dogs and cats living together. I'm just standing there not knowing what to do. And yeah, you, you think back to that. And that's the first time you thought of that That in God knows how many years. You, you'd have forgotten about that. Like how many eons was that? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, when was there... Festivals? Paintings? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's a whole life forgotten. First Friday yeah. art walk? Yeah. For, yeah it's all, <laughs> and, and all my work is destroyed. Yeah. Um, you wonder if any of your paintings still exist. Uh, or if you even still can paint. Um, so, yeah. But you, you succeed. Uh, and uh, But, yeah, the engine is a sputtering. And it wants to die. It wants to be. A, <laughs> it does not want to be. Uh, and you are, uh, yeah, what are you doing to keep it awake, uh, to keep it working? Oh, I just kind of keep patting it like, like, it, like it's a, like, like, like it's a, like it's a pregnant dog in, 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 in the middle of labor. Come on, Igor, you can do <laughs> it. Come on, girl. Oh, God. Come on, girl. All right, so you could roll or you could have a flashback of the time you're also. Have a flashback. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, uh, okay. suffering, uh, in the rain and near machine, uh, sometime that was absolutely miserable for you. Uh, yeah, let's see here. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, uh, deeply hallucinating. I'm in a, a tremendous void, like Hypno Tunnel with the uh, green and purple stripes. Uh, my naked form comes in from frame right spinning, you know, like it's a computer animation, just wearing my hat. <laughs> <laughs> An apple comes by, a bias mysteriously taken out of it. <laughs> a good year tire spins by, and I impulsively grab it and stare through the center. The camera rotates around, and I'm looking through it. And it's my mother reaching for me. Oh, what does your mother look like? That's it. I've never seen her face, but it's a mother. Oh. And then as soon as I touch her, she turns into a skeleton and yanks me through the tire. And then I snap back to reality and I'm patting the engine again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just <laughs> And you're over the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you love me, mother? Yeah. God, yeah, that was great. Our, our three brave uh, quest stars, uh, Vitruvius, Jacksonville Johnny, and Lorna, uh, head out. They, they have escaped past the bridge, um, and the, the, the broken, the hilly region uh, becomes a um, valley. Um, Wave goodbye to the tow truck. We, yeah, the tow truck. Very happy. You say you know, once the rain's in, it'll be able to tow the bus back to the junkyard. Um, and... Um, the the terrain changes, uh, becomes more of a broken wasteland, uh, filled with um, the remnants of missile silos. Uh, you see airplanes, thousands of them, as far as the eye can see. Uh, all, you know, uh, air. You're you're in the gra airplane graveyard of all graveyards. Um, so it's a broken rockets and other instruments of flight and other tools and weapons of war and destruction. Like, there's a kite. mm Hmm. With a bomb on it. Uh, Ooh, it's a kite with a nuclear weapon. And now the heat has returned. The sun beats down on you relentlessly. Um, and uh, you then come to a, a ziggurat. Uh, a ziggurat that extends outwardly. Uh, you know, there it is a racetrack uh, <laughs> that extends over the airplane graveyard uh, in a triangular fashion. Um, and there, there is a ramp leading up to it um there there are, do, are there any other people lingering near this ziggurat um who, if so who um uh, i'm gonna do a little call back here uh, lots and lots of birds and pilots helmets birds and pilots helmets okay yeah yeah like fighter pilot helmets okay yeah there, there is a flock of birds you know mostly crows and vultures crows vultures yeah the one's like, like one hummingbird but he seems really lit yeah they they are they're watching you uh perching on the the remnants of a large bomber um yeah you can talk to them if mostly you, want. you know yeah mostly chirping but you know i guess occasionally you know they're they're gonna they're the you know you'll get like some flight lingo like, yeah on your six rock. yeah there we go yeah yeah <laughs> um yeah anyone else um 
But you will, you will, uh, uh, you can all, uh, do you know anything about this? The, 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 you know that you're, uh, there is going, there is another race coming up, obviously, as you go up onto this, take the ramp up onto the ziggurat. Um, do you know anything about this? I know who the racer is, but, uh, have you heard, tell me who told you about it and I'll tell you something about, uh, the race. Who told you about this race? Uh, <clears throat> I had snatched a spider and put it under glass and told him to tell me a secret lest he lest he sit her to wither and starve. Don't kill me. I'm only a spider. Uh, tell me something good. <laughs> you face a single racer in the race of the valleys. It is the but it is a god. Quothog, the god of stasis. An eight legged prognosis I gladly accept. Have now your freedom, but darken not my doorstep yet again. I fucking hate spiders. I <laughs> shall. <laughs> you, you sheathe your newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lorna, did you hear anything about Quoth God, the God of Stasis? Who told you? Um, I overheard. Oh yeah. Uh, about this this race. Who'd you overhear person. it from? Um, two people who were talking about it in a uh like a cafe restaurant i was sitting next to them and well give were... me something to describe these people so i can give you something to describe them yeah yeah just something okay. so i can role play them for sorry i'm trying yeah, yeah. um uh they were they were two uh, i'm not sure what species they were but mm-hmm. i could tell they were they were very old and they sounded feminine um, and they just, you know, had layers and layers of, of like clothing and like cloth and capes, you know, covering them. So I could really just catch glimpses of them. Okay. And they were old, old ladies. Hello, Kate, who is not a three raccoons and various <laughs> layers of clothing. Oh, hello, uh, Bridget, who is not a plague of rats in a <laughs> similar <laughs> amount of clothing. Yes, yes. And then there's Matilda, the wor- totally not the worm that walks. Yeah, we don't talk to her anymore. She cheats at bridge. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, have you heard about uh, the latest from Quoth Gothog, the god of stasis? Oh, I don't like him. He's just a giant stone head. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I do know that, but he is, uh, uh, I have, you know, he, it's very funny if you haven't seen him in the last couple thousand years. He, the, the people have been sneaking up onto him while he rests and writing things on him. Very funny things. A number of limericks. Um, yes, uh, also some commandments of various dead religions. It's quite interesting, really, but, um, he takes himself quite seriously and he's so big, he takes up the entire track. So that's how he wins races. Is they just they, they you have to get around him. Uh, you, can, you can't. Uh, it, well, you can't get around him. He takes up the width of the track. It's quite insidious, really. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> that's that's what you've heard from uh, the these two very nice ladies, not swarms of various animals and hi- hiding under clothes. Um, you never know. You, well, no, you definitely. That, <laughs> they said they weren't. <laughs> Why would you doubt them? They said they specifically were not that. So. Um, what yeah. more do you need? What more do you need? Um, so yeah, this is going to be the second race. Uh, you only have one racer, Quoth Thog, the god of stasis, who does come down. Ah, stasis is good. Change is bad. Um, and uh, <laughs> well, you had him. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so again, um, the. Uh, Initiative matters a lot, and the thing is, he takes up three spaces uh, on it. He gets three actions around because uh, he's so fucking big and annoying. And he's he, fucking head. He is just yeah. It's gone to his head quite clearly. Hey, so um, yeah, we uh, you can do if you want to do something ahead of the race to sort of prep for it. You can. Uh, otherwise, you could just jump on your cart and we can go. Uh, could I try to enlarge all of my compatriots' engines? Yeah. Would I need to make three different checks? Yes. Okay. You tell me who you're casting it for first. Okay, I'm going to do me, do myself first. All right, now if you do fail, uh, though, you, there is a spell. If you're all natural one, there is a spell failure thing, so we'll have to look into that. Which will mutate you, probably. Uh, corruption, 116. We didn't do it in the first one, but basically, uh, corruption. Um, every time you roll natural one, you suffer spell failure. 
Uh, you, uh, and then you have a risk for corruption. So, spell failure. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where is it? Uh, does it, well, actually, it will say on the various spells, I think. Um, do, 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 do. okay. Um, yeah, let me know when you misfire. Okay. Uh, misfire is the natural one. So, um, oh yeah, your spells will say something about corruption or something like that. So let me know in the spell. Let's see. Let's look at a more real quick. So make sure I get that. All right. Enlarge. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Roll on D6 modified by luck. Corruption plus patron taint. Misfire. Okay. So, yeah, if you're all natural one, yeah, uh, it'll be bad. All right, here we go. Yeah. We're going to try my vehicle first. 18. 18? That's going to be, yeah, a success, we'll say. All right. Okay. Uh, duration. Duration is one per caster level, so. Okay. Um, casting time one round. Dur- oh, one turn is ten rounds, actually, so that'll be the entire race, actually. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Turns and rounds are different. So, um, basically it's 10 minutes, uh, and one round. So you get 10 rounds per turn. So yeah, go ahead and cast it. Uh, who are you casting next? Uh, for, uh, uh Lorna's vehicle. Yeah. So you get a plus two on everything now because okay. your card is bigger. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see a 10. 10 is Seven failure. Yeah, yeah. Regular yeah. failure though. That's for Lorna. Damn it. I'm, can I speak? Okay. I'm going to like to push it over the 12. Okay. All right, so I'm down to six luck. Mm-hmm. All right, Toss Vehicle gets the bonus. All right, you get a... Um, well, 12 is like no no bonuses. It's just situational. You need at least a 14 or better to get something. All right, all right. So then I will burn three more. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. I would need to get the 14, so two more. So that's going to be like... I'll have, I'll have four luck left. Yeah, all right. All right, Tom, you get a plus one on everything for this race. Woo! Uh, armor class, damage, and uh, driving checks. Because, yeah, your your engine is bigger and faster. Um, if I do, if, if, if I burn, if I burn off, like, uh, my one of my physical attributes is this magic burn thing, can I take another swing at a larging Lorna's cart? Uh, yeah, you can do one more. Okay. Uh, but then you have to go. Like, how many points do you want to, you have to say how many you're burning first, though. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to burn two two points of my strength. What does that put your strength at? Uh, that, that would put it at 10. Okay. Yeah. Give it a blow. <laughs> Good enough. 17. 17. Um, you so also get a plus total 19. <gasps> okay. Then plus two on everything. Actually, plus, there you go. Great. Great. We're going we're gonna to freaking make it, team. Mm-hmm. Good job. Um, if we, or, of course, if you got to 20, it would be double in size and we'll get a lot more bonuses. But yeah. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Um, so that does not count for initiative, though. So everyone give me an initiative check. Oh, oh, there we go. God damn. One. A solid one. All right. 20. Damn. All right. No. Tom? 20. Seriously? Well, 19 plus one. Oh, I know. It's plus two for everything, right? Uh, not initiative. This is just initiative, yeah. And then 20. Anything then which a bigger size would matter, like, um, so, uh... Was it a nat, what, 20, for, was it a nat 20 for you? Yeah, natural. I still think she go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was, yeah, if you adjust, natural 20 beats adjusted 20, yeah. Uh, all right, Lorna, um, you do get to go first. Uh, all right, so... So again, just... you're facing only one racer, a giant stone head, uh, Quathog, uh, the uh, Quathog, yeah, the god of stasis. It was a giant stone head uh, with lots of things written on it. Um, and his st- stasis is good, change is bad. Reference is bad. <laughs> Reference is good, original bad. Um, so yeah, you can just erase, uh, try and get ahead. Uh, you could. How do I use my rat guy that I got? Um, that would be an action. Remember, basically, um, you activate him and he becomes full size and then you tell him what to do. 
Yeah, like I want I want to try to make him full size and have him go um like bash that guy's car. <laughs> uh okay, yeah. Uh so uh go the, play the hammer game. Yeah, the 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 rat uh so you raise uh, uh the rat gr- the little figurine uh action figure uh grows to human size. Yeah. It says Hey! Uh, I don't know your name. Hi, guy. My name's... My, you can call me Lorna. You're my new best friend, yes. Lorna. Yeah. yeah. I really want to do favors for you. Oh, thanks, man. What's What kind of favor can I do for you, my good friend, Lorna? All right, so... <laughs> Who we're... would never betray me? <laughs> Who would never betray me? And have my best interests in mind. <laughs> so we're going to play a prank on one of my friends. Oh, wow. Pranks are awesome. Yeah. I love That's pranks. Tight. We're Very just tight. having a... As you can see, we're having a friendly little race here. I love... I love friendly races. I, my, yeah, you're my best friend. But my second best friend is that giant guy over wow, there. Wow, he's enormous. Yeah, <laughs> we love him. He's great. What's um, his name? Oh, shit. Uh, Repeat rough. name that yeah. you said. What is it? I know. I'm not going to tell you. You need to. Yeah. Uh, I've said it multiple times. Uh, so his name is uh, Head Guy. Head uh, guy. Hey, yeah, head guy. Yeah, You're just, cool. Just talk to him and just tell him how great he is. Um, but what I want you to do, this is the prank. Yeah. You're going to, first you're going to gnaw on the tires of his car a little bit. Okay. And, and then you're going to open up the hood. And That's just, a very tiny card for a giant head. Br- just, just, just eat whatever you can. Eat whatever you can yeah. on his cart? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that right now. Um, right, as he runs off. Radical. Radical. <laughs> All right. Uh, so give me a driving check. 20. <clears throat> what the Jeez. hell? It's on the radio. Turn that dial to RPPR. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're, you just take off. Uh, you, you nailed that acceleration. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty safe for first base. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and roll D20 for... Uh, let's see. What did I name him? Um... Charles, son of, uh, yeah, the rat, yeah. Two. <laughs> Whoops! I feel like that's bad. Well, let's see how... Squandering my gifts. Yeah. Yeah, um, th- yeah, it definitely misses. Uh, well, yeah, uh, let's see here. Then Jacksonville Johnny. All right. It's time, like, like, it's, like, it's time to have a D on the road. Mm-hmm. Like and do it like and do it cool because yeah, if you if you don't you don't get the hype up it doesn't matter. Okay. Six. Six. Uh, yeah. Six. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tell us what kind of stunt you want to do. Uh, because again, think about this. The track is like ziggurat, like that goes up in a sort of a widening spiral over a wasteland of an airplane graveyard, stuff like that. So it's an elevated track. So it kind of goes in. Yeah. Yeah. Then I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Drifting. Mm. Um, Very good. All right, give me a roll. Okay. Don't forget, I gave you a bonus because yeah, yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Um, you could either set that to twenty and be tied with Amanda, or uh, you can get an item and keep the thirteen because you did the stunt. Get an item. Okay. So you are at 13. Uh, roll a d10. And if it's a 9, re-roll it. <clears throat> 4. It's a ruby scarab. I like ruby scarabs. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, very good. Uh, then uh, Quathog gets to go. And he is just going to race. He's just going to ignore Charles because Charles missed. Yeah, he, did. he jumped at the uh, thing and uh, totally missed. And uh, gets a 15. He has a plus 5. Because uh, he has an enormous uh, head. Uh, For those that don't know, I am a And he will get multiple head. actions. So he will, in fact, go again. He gets to go twice in a row. Uh, so he will race at a penalty to get an item card. Uh, let's he gets two turns. One for each hemisphere of his brain. <laughs> <laughs> he actually gets three cards. He'll get one more action after you. Dang. Yeah. Um, and he, uh, does make that. So let's see what item he gets. Yeah. It's like getting more difficult now. Um, so he gets a Sapphire Scarab, um, and that will end that action. So, uh, now you get to go. Okay. Um, 
just go ahead and get into the scrum, I guess. Just start driving. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. That's good. I, I add plus two to my totals. Mm-hmm. All right. That'd be 21. Damn. All right. So you're doing well. You're slightly behind uh, Lorna because Lorna rolled a natural 20. Uh, so the uh, guess who is going to fire Sapphire Scarab at you, uh, Lorna? The Kothag? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, so go ahead and give me a reflex save. I'm just yeah. Seven. That Is does not one? make that. Uh, Wait, don't I have plus two also though? Yeah, but you needed a very high number to get. Yeah, that. no, I know that's still not going to get me yeah, anywhere, yeah. but you know, whatever. Uh, so you take four damage. You can divide that between your cart and yourself. If you get to zero, you will be knocked out, and someone will have to roll you over. Of course, Charles will do that because he cares about you. How much damage uh, did I get? Four total. You four. can divide it okay. between the cart and yourself. Thank you. Um, and uh, you will be knocked back. Uh, you will lose 10 on your roll and uh, be knocked down. Or, yeah, you'll be knocked down to 11. So, um, Chris is in first place right now. And second place will be Quoth. Uh, as we get round two, uh, I will say this is six rounds. Um, and so, uh, but yeah, uh, Lorna, you get to go first. Um, okay. Um, I still have Charles, right? Uh, I mean, he's back at the starting line. He was on foot. Oh, okay. You can yell at him to do something. He can run to get an item. Um, yeah. How do I have him do that? Just yell at him. Charles. Yeah. Go give me something. Go give me that box. Okay. Uh, it gets you an emerald scarab. Um, nice. You have to get within. You have to get close, uh, <coughs> but then you can throw it at them. Uh, has to make a reflex save or suffers damage. Uh, yeah, it's a giant beetle fueled with rage. Taste for oily metal. So um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you get the yeah. Charles gets that to you, uh, or actually throws it at you. So give me an agility check. You need at least a five to catch it. Uh-huh. All right, so you fit miss that, so you can make a drive check. Uh, so bad. So I don't have my emerald scarab because I didn't catch it. Mm-hmm. Got an eighteen. All right. You want to get plus two on that? Yeah. So you get a twenty. Yeah. So you're catching up. I'm uh, really sad. Yeah. It's just like Mario Kart. It is. It's you're up one second and down the next. Uh, let's see. Next up is Jacksonville Johnny. All right. Um, I got a question. Who who has a scarab? You have a scarab. Mm-hmm. <laughs> could could we do like a a, a a a double attack? Like I use my free spell on the giant head. He throws his scarab at the giant head. Would that fucking get him? Yeah. So can we coordinate? Yeah, of course. It's like just like do a bunch right. of, do a bunch of hand signals. Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Very. And then you com- go. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> if I ask, <laughs> yeah. All right. As uh, I'm my mother was a saint. <laughs> like, do you know who my mother is? <laughs> I, 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 everybody does. All right. So uh, let's see. I gave you the ruby scarab, right? Yeah. Um, so he just has to make a save. You don't have to do anything with that. So um, now throwing that will give you a negative two on your driving check because you're doing. I understand. Else. Yeah. Uh, I believe. All right. So go ahead and give me a driving check. Here it comes. All right. What'd you get? Uh, rolled a 19. Okay, so 17. Well, I also have a plus one. Okay, so 18. 18. All right, very good. <laughs> and uh, let's see if he saves. He does not, so he will take damage from the uh, Ruby Scarab. Only one. I am just rolling. I Actually, you roll. It's your D8. You roll oh, a D8. I think D8? Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. I don't know if there is someone there. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, mine's a two. Okay. So, big damage. Big damage. All right. No whammies, no whammies. Uh, so, he'll have to make a harder driving check on his turn. Um, but, I mean, you rolled the one on your initiative. So, yeah, he will get to go next. Actually, so he'll make his driving check now. Uh, uh, so, he does not crash. He does not roll a one. But he is definitely behind you two. Um, and then... He is going to try and drive again to get a new item. Um, and he does. Uh, he what? Rolls, yeah, he rolls better for that, weirdly enough. 
Uh, let's see here. He is uh, going to get uh, some wings. Uh, wings grow on him, allowing him to ignore one crash. Tiny wings that will, that will send aloft his giant head. Basically, he can ignore one crash. Um, so, uh, But now, Chris... Uh, he has been, he is definitely set up for, if you can hit him with a spell, uh, that'll definitely compound his problems. Do okay. It. I activate the free spell that I won as my third place prize. Oh, the shatter spell. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's the scroll, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, that is one, four. And that is a big damn thing. That is actually going to really fuck him up. Uh, yeah, fuck him up. Um... However, you actually need to touch him in order to trigger it. If you do this, it will basically destroy his cart. Uh, and you will have to repair it. Well, shoot. Uh, yeah, uh, but you're charged with that magic now. So uh, give me a drive check. You can do it. 14. 14. Okay. Oh, you, my, uh, plus you, two is 16. Sorry. All right. So with that roll, you're, you can do it this round if you want to make an attack roll. All right. I'll give it a shot. All right, uh, this would be uh, agility, probably. Or strength, whatever's higher. Uh, my agility, that'll give me a plus one. All right. Thirteen. Thirteen. That will hit him. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's see if he saves. He does not. Uh, so, yeah, you fuck up his cart. Uh, you lose the scroll. He goes, uh, uses the wings. He doesn't crash. Uh, so he lands on his feet. Um and he is very pissed. So he's going to do a ne- another thing next round. So uh, he has a surprise coming up for you all. Um, so that ends uh, the second round. So um, third up. Uh, th- so third round, uh, Lorna, you get to go first. You can actually see what he's doing. He is a giant head, as I mentioned, made out of stone. So he is using his magic. To widen himself to become a wall, and uh, this is you're going around a course multiple tra- multiple runs. So um, he is uh, blocking your path. You are going to crash into him unless you can either go around him or through him. Um, so yeah, while his cart uh, he calls for his uh, the birds to bring him a new cart. Uh, the, the, but he yells, birds of the airplane graveyard, give me a new mount, a new steed. And they, they squawk, it's Roger, Roger. And, you know, uh, they, they start doing that. So, uh, yeah. Bogey on your six. So uh, if you can get around him, you can definitely win the race, but because he won't be able to get his cart in time. But if you, if you, if he stops you, then, you know, you're basically, uh, you, you're gonna have to wait for him to not be a wall anymore. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so what if I use my detect magic to bring some plagues of rats back to try to eat the birds and startle this guy into, like, you know, getting all the rats off so it can't be a wall? Yeah. Uh, you can also use the plague of rats to literally propel yourself over the wall, too. Oh, man, but eating the birds and, like, getting the guys. Well, the thing is the birds are in the air and the rats are on the ground. How would you get the rat air landborn creatures into the air? When they come down. (laughs) But you know what? You're right. You're right. I I, I think that we're going to summon, attempt to summon the the plague of, it's not just rats, it's rodents. So we got mice and and all kinds of things up in here. Capybaras. And, uh, oh, short capybaras. No, they're very big capybaras. Uh, They are rodents. Um. Yeah. So they're they're like the base yeah, of yeah. this uh, ramp that they're building to mm-hmm. carry me up and over. So okay. Yeah. Don't roll a one or do roll a one. It'd be funny. I got a twelve. All right. Uh, that triggers the spell. Plus two is fourteen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you detect the shit out of magic. Uh, yeah. and a plague of rats appears. Give me a drive check so you can mount this ramp of rats. Uh, sick. Okay. Uh, Plus two is eight. Yeah. Um, Not much. It's not much, but you are uh, getting there. Um, So let's see here. Next up, Jacksonville Johnny. Big wall. Uh, There is a ramp of rats, uh, but they're going to bite at you uh, if you use that ramp of rats. Can I use my uh, scarab to calm them down? No. Or to chill them out? No. It's it's a scarab that wants to kill and destroy. Oh, well, I can relate to that. Well, yeah. 
So you could try and, yeah, you need to go through the wall or over the wall or risk the ramp of rats. I'm going to try to jump the wall. Can I just try to jump the wall? Yeah, sure. I'll try to do that. Okay. okay speed racer. I'm going to make it a deed. Yeah, yeah. That is, there you go. Actually, with a deed, yeah, you can definitely bullshit that. Um, well, that does not can work. Can I spend a point of luck to make that succeed? Uh, what'd you roll? Two. You need uh to spend three points of luck. Actually, no, it'd be one because it's a D3. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, one point of luck would do it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll spend one. All right. Uh, So... Yeah, tell us how this ramping looks like. Uh, you also need to make the D20 check. Oh, yeah. Uh, 17. Okay. Um, I, yeah. I think I had a plus two mm-hmm. and then a, my strength plus one. Okay. So let's see here. What? Do you, how does it look like to us? All right. In this uh, case, it is just I, it's not my precious healing potion. Mm-mm. No, this is uh, no, this is this is my can of jolt. Okay. That I, you know, that, that I, I use to keep things extreme. Mm-hmm. Take one brief sip, mm-hmm. and then just. I don't. I don't. I don't even really. There's no. There's no like little spig or anything. I just take take a take a chunk out of the dashboard where there's no. a hole into the and just pour it in there. <laughs> it's like it's like come on, man, get sight. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that definitely counts as a mighty deed. Uh, uh, so you managed to <clears throat> ramp that shit. Uh, good job. Um, and then uh, Vitruvius. Uh, <laughs> Where am I in the scrum? Uh, you're, you need to get over the wall. Uh, uh-huh. right now your last roll was, uh, I think an 18. Uh, yeah. So you, 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 you're doing pretty well, but like, here's the thing. Uh, Quathog is a wall. If you don't get past him, he's just going to be ahead of you. And yeah. Can I summon a rope to climb over the wall? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, my wizard's not wearing any pants. If you look up, you see his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen, which uh, summons a length of rope of a hundred feet. Yeah, from nowhere. Rope remains in existence for one turn. So, can I clamber over the wall? Yeah, give me a drive check. It's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you are going to fall off the track at this point. <laughs> Bye. Uh, bye. Um, oh, no. Yeah, you are uh, going to take uh, one damage. Uh, both to, uh, uh, You can put that on a cart or yourself. Uh, but you're going to be in dead last. Um, so um, here's the thing. There's basically two races now. There's Jacksonville, Johnny, uh, and Lorna. Uh, cause you two are way ahead at this point. Yeah. Um, you you've lapped the, uh, well, you're, well, uh, so Quathog gets his cart and he starts racing, but at this point you two have lapped him, uh, cause you managed to get over the wall, uh, over him. So, um, you two can roll off and to see who gets first and second place. Uh, and then the real question is by the time you get back on the track, uh, Quathog has got his cart back. So it's a real race between you two. <laughs> All, All right. right. So I, yeah. All right. Let's you and me just want to do straight up rolls. Versus, it's, it's, like, just it's see a driving which one, like, which one else gets first, which one gets second. Right, but you said, do I want to do? I just like just yeah, like straight up rolls right now. No, yeah, I mean he's like a straight up race, not like trying to trick him or fight him or anything like that. I have, I have Wait, like I thought that's what we were gonna do. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Is there like another option? Yeah, you can fight dirty. Nah, I'm good. Okay, shall we? All right. Thirteen plus two is fifteen. Fifteen plus three, eighteen. All right. All right. So uh, Jacksonville Johnny gets first place. Uh, Lorna gets second place. Right. Well, actually, as, as we both cross the finish line, just no, no, I'm like, that's that, that kind of thing. <laughs> I'd race with you anytime, Maverick. Uh... <laughs> like, you can be my wingman anytime. So uh, the true reason not to race between you and Quathog. Uh, okay. So uh, you can either try and outrace him with a straight race roll, or you can you use magic and shenanigans. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to I'm going to magic burn three points of agility mm-hmm. for my drive check. Okay, sure. Yeah. Thirteen plus three is sixteen. I would like to burn three points of luck to stack on top of that for a total of nineteen. Damn. All right. Let's see how he rolls. Uh, natural 20. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't you also get plus two? 
Uh, yeah, this is the first natural 20 I've rolled the entire yeah. game. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah. it wouldn't be funny. <laughs> yeah. You try really hard, but at the end, it d- didn't even matter. Um, Charles, the, the, uh, the, the son of the rat, comes to you, Lorna, uh, and great, good job! You well, got second place. That's really good. Totally awesome. Good sportsmanship. Tubular. I'm going to turn back into an action figure now. Oh man, I'm gonna Bye. miss you. But you, know, you can come. You can summon me back anytime. I will soon. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So Quathal gets the third place uh, with the two cart items, uh, usable the next race. But he stays here because this is his thing. Uh, second place, Lorna. You get an upgrade and a livery. Um. So basically, you get some cosmetic DLC, but right. it's pay to win DLC. Um. So. Uh, your upgrade. Uh, let's see here. What in general? How would you like to upgrade your cart? Uh, would you like it to go faster? Armor, uh, better tires, uh, a weapon <coughs> mount. Um, if I add armor, does that um, increase my HP? Because I'm down to four HP on my cart. So. Oh yeah, you you can fully repair your cart. Um, okay. We have no time to do that. So, um, yeah, you can do that for free. But yeah, what do you? What would you like? Would you want to speed, like survivability, or offense? Oh, offense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you get a rotating weapon mount. Um, and uh, yeah, what kind of weapon? I'll just let you che- kind of like describe it. Like, what kind of weapon would you like to mount on it with a rotating uh thing? You didn't even have Charles like be the gunner for it, so. Uh, like a harpoon. Yeah, I was uh, thinking like a harpoon. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll harpoon him. Yeah, harpoon gun. Uh, and then you get a livery, so you can describe it. Um, and uh, let's see here. I'll uh, basically, yeah, you can customize how your cart looks. I'll give you power based on how you describe it. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna describe how my what I want my cart to look like. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, like if you describe it, it's like oh, it's got cool laser schemes and stuff like that. Obviously, they have like a laser based power or whatever. Like, um, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm an I'm an elf mm-hmm. and I'm an artisan, so it's gonna be, you know, uh, covered in like. Foresty images, oh, with, like, okay. forest little creatures hiding in there, okay. and it's a little bit of camo type looking. All right, um, so yeah, it's alive now. It is a, it is so it regenerates one d eight hit points per round. The cart does. All right. So uh, because it is now made of living wood uh, and uh, leaves, and there's yeah, there's little cute forest critters living in it. Huh. Yeah, uh, little birds singing. Um, so that was second place and first place. Uh, so Jacksonville Johnny, yes, you get a magic item. Ooh, it's called Time Ring. Um, so it is a um, you can set a roll to a natural twenty, but it has every time you do that, something interesting happens. I like interesting. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, whenever you want to use that, there are probably not unlimited charges for it. So you probably don't want to use it for casual things, but that is what, you know, for free, you can try and figure out more on your own or experiment with it. But, uh, just go, don't need to, I got a time ring, <laughs> time ring. Uh, Does it say that? Yeah. Excellent. It glitters. It has a little lens flare whenever oh, you look yeah. at it. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you've gone past the, uh, the, uh you know the wastelands uh and you continue on um and uh this is when you get to like the uh the 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 plains uh of undying woes there are there is a pilgrimage here uh there are thousands and thousands of ageless uh also trying to find the star traveler also trying to reach but they're on foot they don't have cool carts like you um and so uh as you're driving past them you realize you're going to need some supplies, some things to fix your cart uh, and keep it running over the long miles in order to get to the final race. Uh, these are these are desperate ageless who at least want to have a glimpse of the Star Traveler before, uh, you know, it's it's something to do. So um, you can each take a turn describing some of the people you see. 
Um, and uh, you will each get to describe a little flashback again of your past. Uh, there's somebody from your past here. There, there are thousands of angels here. So, um, yeah, like Jacksonville Johnny. Uh, what, what, what? Uh, as you as you see the as you go through this plane, uh, uh, you know the the sun is beating down. Some of them look human. Some of them look like elves. Some look like dwarves. Some of them look like weird fantasy creatures. Some of them look like other mascots. Some of them look like robots. Some of them look like uh, weird plasticky cockroach people. Uh, some of them look like holograms, like video game characters. There's just everything you can imagine, uh, aside from like actual humans, because the humans are gone. Um, that's the one thing right. that is true. So yeah, uh, yeah. What 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 is someone you see? What is something you see or hear that triggers a flashback? And what is the flashback? Could be, for example, like you see some orangey furry thing uh they remind you of sir grit grit yes the 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 mascot you hated you hated someone you hated someone orange you know something like that that's an example it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a rivalry with gritty no yeah i i have i have I have no, I I have no qualms with with him. Okay, we have we made peace eons ago. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. No, there was a. Uh, okay, yeah, there is a. Okay, yeah, there's a, okay. There's actually like a. Uh, there's a guy. I can't tell if it's a robot. Can't tell if it's living. Mm-hmm. But it uh, looks like a big, a big hulking, walking, you know, upright uh, lobster. Okay. You know, like a big giant lobster, <laughs> okay. and it clearly, it you know, it reminds me of a very sad tale of another mascot who looks so much like him. Yeah. Like mascot of a team of crayfish or something. I can't remember what the team was. I just remember that he was a mascot, but the team. Couldn't last. Oh no! It couldn't. They couldn't get hyped enough to to maintain it. Oh no! Also, there was probably a money problem, but that's beside the point. It was a, <laughs> it was a lack of hype. Yeah, yeah. It was a, a lack of hype, a lack of getting pumped. There was no pump. There was no pump. They lost their pump. Oh. He was their pump, and he could not pump anymore. And his team disappeared. <laughs> All and right. I, I was the one mascot that comforted him in that time. Yeah. We never like. I never forgot him. I mean. I think I forgot him a few hundred thousand times, but I think I always remember him somehow when mm-hmm. I see something that makes me sad. Well, this is you know, the place where like this is just a long, long haul to get to the fucking final race. Uh, mm. This is just there's but nothing I, out here. Yeah. But yeah. as I'm passing, we both lock eyes. Yeah. And there's just just a moment. A brief shimmer of recognition. Yeah. Just and then like a brief yeah. head nod. Yeah. Most of these ages on foot are have lost. All since they, they 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 can't talk anymore. They're just like drones. They just like are so lost in themselves that they can't. But the, the, you brought him yeah. out of his yeah. little. Actually, he raises a claw. Just stay pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, I, I, and a little tear of oil. Oh. Yeah. My... <laughs> uh, so yeah, who wants to go next? Uh, as you, you're going past countless miles uh, under the sun. Watching this, this passing by all these people on foot. Yeah. Uh, okay. I see a particular face and it just makes me panic all of a sudden. Oh, yeah? I began Im- immediately <clears throat> reliving one of my many numerous past lives. All of a sudden, I am a manhole cover in New York City once again. Always being constantly trampled. It's filthy, disgusting. Now I'm an ill fated goldfish trapped in the boot of some disco dancer. I can't get out of here. I keep getting knocked around. It's concussions. <laughs> now I'm one of 17 voices that guided a, an insane king to his own ruin I wasn't helpful I was just trying to order dinner <laughs> what, what, who, what did you see that made you panic? Was it the king? It was a face of one of these weird angels Oh, okay, yeah uh, You know, be not afraid and all that <laughs> Oh, biblical angel like <laughs> Just a big, big, uh, big old spherical thing with a bunch of eyes just floating there. Yeah, uh, all the eyes are downcast, but they see you, the th- hundreds of eyes, and they like, mm, do they recognize you? But you, you hit the gas and uh, you know, drive away uh, <laughs> before you before they, they you risk their ire. Uh, but yeah, uh, you had so many lives over the millions of years. Um, 
and uh, Lorna. You know, as as we're driving through these these planes and and passing all these different people, and, yeah. You know, I, I see the groups of people, and, and like you said, they can't talk, but you know, they, yeah. they're making noises, and I can can tell how hard this is for them, and they're carrying belongings, and and suddenly in in my eye, in front of me, I I, I see darkness, and I'm taken back to a night hundreds, maybe thousands of years ago, where when I had to flee and I, I don't remember what I'm fleeing from. It's just like a brief image, but there's just people running and they're screaming and, and there's a little girl and she's looking at me and just the crowd pulls her away. And I don't know if that's my daughter, if that's a oh, shit. sister, if that's just a little girl, it means nothing to me, but this emptiness is what I feel. Yeah. So I'm, Snap back to today, and I try to disassociate my way across these planes of despair. Yeah. Uh, just another face in the crowd. Uh, uh, yeah. You shared something long ago, but you drifted apart, and now you don't even remember what that was. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and so it goes. Uh, for for days, weeks, you, you don't sleep, you don't eat, you don't rest, like, it just goes. Um, but finally, you see light ahead, a brilliant, beautiful rainbow light. Um, and, uh, there is a temple, uh, a golden temple, uh, of, uh, immaculate splendor, something new, something that has been built recently. You haven't seen such a thing in eons, countless years. And so, you know, you are here and, uh, before, and there is a, uh, prism pathway, uh, a... <laughs> Uh, a road of rainbows, you might say, uh, for the final race. But there's a judge. Uh, the judge uh, stops all the three of you, and there, there are already three competitors. Uh, you must prove your... You must... Why are we you worth... kill the others! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this again, just a role-playing thing. You can just... Uh, you have to qualify for the final race. You have to prove to the... First off, uh, who is judging this race? Who Who is the judge? Um... What do they look like? Uh, someone who is in service uh, or a, a, a worshiper of the Star Traveler of the uh, who 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 would this be? The, per, the one who predicted his coming. Uh, uh, let's see. I, you know what? Maybe it's a. Uh, it actually looks like a human child. Like I forgot what a human looked like, but it's like a little little. Uh, uh, Actually, it would be a boy and a girl. They 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 talk in unison. You you no longer think of things like that creepy. You're you're you know, you got burned out on that kind of thing. But it'd be very <laughs> creepy to to us, you know. Um, and they speak in unison. They wear like clothing. They 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 look like when you look at whenever you look at them, it's like looking through a 1970s lens where it's all like you know smeared in Vaseline and like hazy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, kind of sparkly. So yeah, they. Show, tell us why you are worthy to race, uh, to ascend to the heavens. So you, Jacksonville Johnny, yes, we know all of your names. We're telepathic. Like, In your own words, tell us why. Like, why? Why? You're asking me why? Yes. Like, I keep things pumped up everywhere I go. Do you not smell the, the, smell the hype and the pumptitude over the land? It's what I do. Do you think the heavens need to be pumped? Everything needs to be pumped. Even you. And brother, let me tell you, I will pump you up. Ah, we, yes. Please do not go out and pump children. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, God. You made oh. it weird. Oh. <laughs> not us. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. Yeah, just just go. Just get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> um, all right. Who wants to explain why they're worthy? I have lived maybe a thousand lifetimes, and I don't remember most of them, but I do know that... Sing, sister! <laughs> I, I spent my days doing what I could to enrich others' lives and and bring happiness and, and peace to to people but mm. now there's no one else no one left to teach no one left to enjoy what i have to offer 
I see. Well, if there's nothing left for here, perhaps the heavens will have a solution for you. You may enter, my child. And you, Vitruvius, the wizard. Listen, I'm be- being a wizard and being old, I just know everything, all right? Let's just go ahead and put that aside. Uh, what I don't know is what God looks like. And I have it on good authority, i.e. my massive intelligence, that he resides on this racetrack. And I am going to drive right up to him and reach out across the surly bonds and slap the nose off his face. <laughs> he's done everything to me. He's the, he's the blame. <laughs> we all hate that guy. <laughs> All right, very well. You've all shown will and determination to win. Uh, that this separates you from the thousands who have come to petition to be allowed up here. Uh, you may enter. There are only three. High five. There are only three <laughs> competitors here with you: the clown, the rabbit, and the girl. Um, the, the girl is the one that is you know that you know how every group of characters there's one. Every character has a trait. You know, one's jokey, one's smart. And this one, that their, their their trait is that they are the girl. That that that's their trait. You know, that's that's how that works. And that seems weird. They're fifty percent of the population. They probably in anyway. Yeah. Anyways, the girl. Um. Then <laughs> the rabbit. This is a rabbit that talks, and sometimes they make jokes and shenanigans. And then there is the clown. Uh, sometimes he sells burgers. Sometimes he <laughs> kills people. Um, yeah. Sometimes he does both. Sometimes he does both. Yes, terrifying. Uh, those are your competitors. So, uh, yeah, it is the last race. Uh, you, you, uh, your carts are all repaired. If they weren't already. Um, and do 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 do. And uh, you can, yeah. Do you do anything before you you start the race? It is a race that goes up into the atmosphere. It is a it is a road made of rainbows. That goes up in uh, giant spirals, going all the way up into space. Uh, at least it looks that way. It's you're you're on the ground right now at the Golden Temple. Uh, but yeah, it is. Uh, this there is no second or third place. There is just the winner. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Any any last uh, preparation before you start the race? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna try to enlarge everyone's engines again. I suppose. All right, yeah, that, that yeah, that was really smart. Me is for 14. That makes it right. Yeah, yeah. I think you get a plus one. All right, nothing for Tom. 19 for Amanda. Plus two for Amanda. Danke. All right. Uh, all right. In that case, everybody can roll initiative. Boy. Yeah, we're awesome, aren't we? Three. Hold on. I will ask for it. Uh, wow. Girl rolled a natural one. Uh, Tom, what'd you get? Ten. Amanda? Nine. Chris? Uh, three. <laughs> Alright. Clown goes first. Uh, the clown uh, uh, laughs. Ha ha! Uh, by the way, all each of them does. They do look like a clown. Each of them looks like a different clown to you. Each of them is a you know a platonic ideal of that archetype. Um, so uh, yeah, the clown is going to throw a banana peel in front of Jacksonville Johnny. So what kind of clown do you see? I gotta go with the stand. I gotta go with your uh, your horror clown. Horror clown. Okay. Yeah, your sharp tooth Pennywise. Okay. Clown. All right. Um, uh, what is your AC? It is 11. All right, this misses actually. Uh, he throws a banana peel at your face. I see. Yeah, barely. I'm just like, roll. Yeah, I got a 10. Let me uh, give him, give him. Yeah, uh, then he is gonna roll, uh, and gets a six. Um, and <laughs> thank uh, you, but I got enough potassium. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You might say I'm pumped with it. All right, Jacksonville Johnny, you're next. All right. Like fuck this guy, I'm, okay. fl- I'm gonna I'm gonna be flying by him. All right, you can just yeah. I am not okay. That's a one. Boy. Natural one. Natural. Give one. me another one. You might crash. Eighteen. Okay, you don't crash. You just get a one. <laughs> it's, it's just like. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, Lorna, you're next. Uh, is Char- uh, by the way, you have Charles. I assume you have Charles manning the harpoon gun. I do. Have yeah, him. he can fire for free. He doesn't call it penalize you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who doesn't love uh, Charles? Come on. Is there anyone? But once he shoots it, it takes him around to re. If he misses, uh, it takes him around to reload. 
All right. Well, um, who is closest to me that I can shoot? Uh, well, you're at the starting line right now, so the only person who's not close to you is the clown. Oh, okay. he's ahead of you. He he went first. Okay, so I can shoot anybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I want to shoot the girl. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. And, yeah, make an attack roll. Uh, you need to get a you. Uh, he has a plus one on his uh, plus any enlargement bonus. Um, so I guess it would be a three. All right. And you need to get a twelve or better total. Okay. Go for the there. ice, Charles. Eight plus two is ten. Okay. Uh, so you could burn luck to uh, have him. Oh, hit. yeah. You know what? Let's do that. I have lots of luck. Okay. So yeah, let's bring that up to a twelve. All right. Uh, are you ask- yelling at Charles to target the driver or the cart? Oh, the cart. We wanna we wanna try to knock it out. You okay. Know? All right, so uh, roll a uh, yeah, go and roll a d six for damage. D six. Six. Damn. All right. Uh, six damage is a quite a bit. Uh, so harpoon six in it. Do you want Charles to hold the harpoon or retract it? Um, hold the harpoon or retract it. Yeah. Do you want the harpoon to stay in the cart? Oh, like can we just like let the yeah, we'll just leave it in the in the cart. Like we just let it go. It won't do any more damage. It's just like right. you can't. You're stuck to each other. Oh yeah, no, I don't want to be stuck to each other. Yeah. So if I retract it, it like pulls it out of their cart. Mm-hmm. Oh okay, yeah, I want to do that. Then. Okay, so not next round, but the round after that, he can fire again. Okay, because that's yeah, because uh, yeah, he just has the one bolt, the one harpoon. So yeah, uh, go ahead and give me a driving check. Eleven plus two is thirteen. All right. You you overtake the clown. Uh, so next up is the rabbit. Uh, the rabbit gets a sixteen, and the rabbit overtakes you. Oh man! Uh, rabbit is up first with uh, sixteen. So um, then uh, let's see here. Uh, Vitruvius and the girl are going to go at the same time. All right, go go for each other. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, shucks. Um, <laughs> nah, I, I just gotta hit the gas, man. All right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Not good. That's a that's an eight total. All right. That's fine. And then the girl is, um, she is going to throw uh, a glitter bomb at you uh, <laughs> and hit you. Uh, give me a fortitude save. Fort, yeah, fort on your character for Spajo. Three plus it's three. Three. All right, you are blinded. Uh, boy. Uh, yep. Uh, so your next driving check will be at a negative uh, ten, uh, unless you want to uh, rub it out of your eyes, which will probably hurt. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to take hit point damage from glitter. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Glitter in your eyes. You you can't see very Good well. Good lord, he's been bedazzled. Anyway, she's going to drive and get a 12. Um, so, uh, in the first round, uh, the rabbit is up first. Um, and This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Uh, so, the <laughs> clown is going to go. Uh, and the clown is going to uh, laugh uh, in a really disconcerting way at you, Jacksonville Johnny. Uh, give me a will save. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Yep. Uh, where is my fucking will? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Uh, well, you rolled a natural one for his attack, so. Hey! <laughs> Quit clowning around. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he gets a two total on his, uh, uh he fucks it up. Um... So that so he tries to scare you but fails because uh, he's he's not very scary apparently. Um, let's see here. So that's him. Then uh, you can go. All right. Okay. First of all, like I can't. We gotta catch up. Gotta make it. Gotta make it a deed to get in this race. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. You're I right. do not. Okay. So just a roll. All right. And what a roll, Nat twenty. Nat twenty. Oh, geez. All right, you're doing very well. Uh, so you're beginning. You're you're catching up. Uh, let's see here. Then uh, Amanda. 
Uh, um, all right. Um, where am I in the crowd? Uh, you're sort of in the middle right now. Um, in the middle. Rabbit and Tom are up front. Uh, you're neck and neck with the girl. Uh, and then Chris and the clown are in the back. All right, so I'm in the middle. So I guess I'm just gonna um just drive. Okay. Try to try to get further ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh, four plus two is six. Okay. So not great. Not didn't, great. Didn't get too far. Nope. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Rabbit is gonna go next. Uh, rolls very well. Uh, gets a seventeen. Do 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 do. Uh, so he's right behind Tom now. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Chris, Vitruvius, and the girl. Of course, Vitruvius, you are blind, so I got a water skin. Can I rinse my eyes out? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You need to give me a. Yeah, how are you getting your eyes clear? Basically, I'd say for free, you can like just rip them out and like take one d three damage. Uh, but if you you can do it with finesse and get them. Uh yeah. I only got three hit points. Yeah, yeah, it's risky. Yeah. Uh so I have a vial of holy water. Would that rinse oh, it off? Oh yeah, that would work. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You mark off your holy water. Bless your eyes. Give me a drive check with negative two, because that's obviously your action. <laughs> one. Adjusted one. Adjusted one, okay. Um all right, and girl. Girl's a natural one. <laughs> And crashes. Uh, <laughs> well. Yep. Uh, bad luck hits them too. Uh, she is stunned for one round. So, two. All right. Um, she did not crash bad enough to hurt her cart more. So, round three. Um, so, the clown. Uh, let's see here. He is in the back. He is going to go for a cart and gets it. He gets a cart. Uh, let's see here what he gets. Uh, he gets a ruby scarab, so he's going to make his driving check and gets... Jesus Christ, I rolled another natural 20. So the clown is catching up. Uh, let's see here. Tom, you're next. All right. Well, since I can do it, just like, yes, like, ah, oh, you're doing good, but it can be better. Yeah. Get pumped up. Smack my head into the dashboard. Like, okay. Get yeah, pumped. Yeah. <laughs> And I spend a point of luck. Okay. To move that up. All right. So you, you get your deed off. Uh, so you're just trying to get better position? Yep. All right. Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, I mean, you get better effects. So I'll say you tie with the uh, clown. So you're at 18. Um, yeah. So you're neck and neck with the clown for first uh, right now. So, Amanda, you're next. Uh, let's see here. You are. The rabbit, it's basically like Tom, the clown, then the rabbit, then you, and then Chris, the clown, and the girl are on the back. <laughs> All right. So I can't really, like... Would oh, I the, able... the harpoon is back. Uh, yeah, would I be able to harpoon somebody? Yeah, yeah, you can harpoon anybody. Like anybody? It has a, it's a rotating weapon mount, so it can spin around and shoot at Oh, them. okay, so it doesn't have to be somebody who's, like, right with me. Mm-mm. Um. So I want to shoot out the clown. Okay. Go ahead and give me a attack roll. No, no, roll nope. a d20 first. 13 plus 2 is 15. Yeah, that hits. Now go and roll damage. Two. Two. All right, so that's two on the clown. Uh, that's good. Now you, the clown is ahead of you, so he can try and winch uh, the harpoon to pull you up to his level. Actually, yeah. So you, you'll just set your racing to be uh, neck and neck with the clown. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, Tom, uh, Lorna harpoons the clown and pulls themselves up next to you. So the three of you are all neck and neck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Like, uh, like, we are pumped. <laughs> and I punch the dashboard again. <laughs> <laughs> so the rabbit is going to activate his secret <coughs> weapon. He pulls out a carrot and starts eating it. Uh, your eyes. and uh, it gives him a turbo boost, so his result is going to be doubled for this round. Um, but if he so, which is only a 14, so <laughs> uh, he's catching up though. Um, and then the the girl is going to roll uh, well, but you know, she's penalized, so she's at a 10. Uh, so Chris, uh, I, uh you're the guy, 
You are the guy. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to uh, make another drive check. I've mm-hmm. got to catch up. Not great. We're looking at a 11 total. 11. All right. So the girl's in last. Uh, Chris, you're right in front of her. Uh, then followed by the rabbit. And then the clown, Amanda, and Tom are all tied for first. You're all neck and neck. So um, the clown uh, is going to act next, though, in round four. Um, and he is going to throw a pie, uh, at your face. Oh, man. So, uh, uh, what is, uh, your AC? Is it 12 or is it higher than 12? Oh, 14. All right. So he misses. Um, so the pie zings by your head. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, narrowly. Then, uh, he's going to try and drive. Um, and, uh, does not roll well. So he is going... To be rolling at a four. So uh, Charles disconnects the cable, the harpoon, because he's lagging behind. Good. Um, so, we wanted that. Yeah. Uh, um, so he, he won't be able to shoot this round because he's reloading. Uh, Amanda, you can go and give me a roll. Uh, six plus two, eight. Eight. Okay. Very good. And uh, let's see here. Uh, that was that. Uh, then the rabbit's going to go, actually, next. Or no, sorry. You, you get to go next. All right, I'm gonna like keep going, like finish off the jolt drink, mm-hmm. crush the can on my head. Mm-hmm. It's like, like, and just, it's like, pops. <laughs> spend my, I, I still got some luck left. Okay, yeah, Let's burn that luck. Yeah, it's the last race. Yeah, at this point, you are so far above the ground that everything, the Golden Temple is just a tiny golden dot above you. Like, it is, everything around you is blue, and it's starting to get black. Uh, it is very cold. The You don't need to breathe, so you don't have to worry about that. Or at least you think you thought you needed to breathe, but yeah. I'm not going to worry about that. Yeah, you're not going to worry about that. You, you just have the road ahead of you. Okay. Um, 15. 15? All right, that's very good. Do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. Then the rabbit's going to go. Uh, and rolls a natural one. And crashes. Uh, <laughs> Wait, is it? Yeah, so the rabbit is just going to be out of it. He's just going to, at this point, if you crash, you are out of it. You are going to fall a very long time. So, um, but you, you lost that competitor. So, uh, Chris? Um, driving. All right. 18, 20 total. Damn. Adjusted 20. All right, you're pulling up. You're you're, you're actually uh, ahead uh, of Tom at this point. And then a uh, girl is going to go. Uh, and rolls an actual one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, but she recovers. So she's just in, you know, last place. Just such a tease. Yeah, just such a tease. All right. All right, two more rounds. Um, yeah. All right, so the clown, uh, let's see here, is going to uh, pull out a slingshot uh, and launch it uh, at uh, you. Uh, Why not? Yeah. That would, uh, 17 would hit you. Definitely, yeah. All right, give me a reflex, though. Plus two, yeah, 19. Okay, um, you take a uh, you don't take any damage. Uh, you, you dodge the uh, the the little sling bullet hits you or, or is about to hit you, but you veer out of the way at the last minute. Uh, so good job. And then uh, he rolls like shit. He doesn't crash, but he's not doing great. Uh, so and uh, Tom from Jacksonville, Johnny. At this point, like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to. I don't think I get pumped anymore. <laughs> yeah. In this case, I just hit myself in the head. There you go. Five. All right. Here we go. Not very good. Seven. Seven. All right. Uh, I'll double that to 15. Do, 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 Having okay. a hard time mastering the clutch, aren't you? <laughs> like, always forgetting that step. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe a skosh. <laughs> uh, Lorna, you're next. Um... I think Charles was reloading the last round, right? So I think you can shoot this round. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Um, so Wait, we need Girl to and Clown are still in the race. C-H-R-L-E-S-D-E-R-A-T. Yeah, we need, yeah, we need to. 
<laughs> we need to reiterate, we like Charles. He's yeah, our friend. Yeah, he's the best. Mm-hmm. Um. So if anyone threatens him, we kill them, right? Yeah. All right, let me see what I want to do next. Because um, there's only one more round after this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the girl's cart is damaged. If you hit it again, you might be able to take her out of the race entirely. True. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's okay. aim our harpoon right, at her. Uh, 10, 12. All right, that hits. Roll damage. Three. All right, that knocks her out. Woo! There's only one left, the clown. Um, and give me a driving check. Uh, six, eight. Eight. Again. Eight. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's fine. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Rabbit clown. Uh, Chris, you're the only one left. Okay. Let's see. Uh, an eleven on my drive check. Okay. You're right in the middle. Um. Well, you're all. Yeah. Actually, everybody except. Uh, yeah. So this is the last round. Um. So you might want to burn all your luck or whatever else because this is the last roll of the game. Basically, the last round of the game. Um, so uh, the clown, I'm just gonna. He's just gonna go for it and uh, rolls an eight. So that's all he's. I'm just rolling him to get him out of the way. So um, yeah, highest roll. Basically, highest driving check. Uh, you're all still pretty close to each other. No one, no one like crashed or you know was so far behind that they got uh, uh, lapped. Lapped. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll just do start with Jacksonville Johnny. Um, what are you gonna do to give yourself the highest roll? Uh, time ring. Time ring. Okay. You yeah. All right. So time ring creates a, an alternate timeline in which you got a natural twenty. So, uh, at the end of this encounter, we're going to roll a die and you tell me odd or even, and I'll roll in secret. And you tell me, uh, these two, uh, uh, get to figure out what's different about the timeline in which you rolled the natural 20 versus this one. And the end of the encounter, we get to see which timeline of you actually stays in this reality. Is that time ring. F- yeah. Time <laughs> ring. So, uh, he gets a natural 20, but you two can specify, um, what he uh, what's different about the timeline in which he got the <coughs> twenty? Like, give me a different version of Jacksonville Johnny. Okay, okay, okay. A different version of, J- of Jacksonville Johnny is 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 his diametric opposite. His his shadow self. His is 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 um mirror his mirror universe version. It, 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 he's, he's 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 Baton Rouge Billy, and he has an exaggerated Cajun patois. <laughs> so basically uh when you decide there's a 50 percent chance that you become battenville uh billy baton rouge billy baton rouge billy <laughs> yeah you know the exact same stats but that's how you will be so do you accept that tom or do you not yeah, i can't you... do the accent but yeah that, the, the, you the, will the, have to try <laughs> yeah sure why not They'll okay accept it you don't i let you walk it back if you don't want to take that risk <laughs> Oh, I'm, oh, I'm going to do my version of it. It's not going to be accurate. It's an alternate universe. You just have to try. That's yeah, all yeah. you want. <laughs> and there's 50%. Ch- so for this round, it's Baton Rouge Billy. So, like, what what does he sound like coming out of the gate? Hot out of the gate. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do it like, it's like, man, freaking ran the damn old race, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. Welcome. Could not ask for better. Um, okay, so for you two. Now, you have a chance to beat that if... Uh, you can get much higher than his natural 20. So, like, if you beat it by four or more, like, adjusted, you can do that. So if you use magic, if you use bullshit, um, you, if you can come up with some excuse, um, I will let you, uh, like, if you cast Detect Magic and get a really high roll, you could say the Plague of Rats catapults me really, really fucking f- far, I'll let you, like, try and win that. So basically, the roll, you, the adjusted number you would need to beat is a 25. So, uh, to beat that natural 20. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, you could also work teamwork and give one of you a plus four bonus. Uh, and so, the other person gets uh, has a much better high. If you, one of you wants to play Kingmaker, um, or you can let Jacksonville Johnny take it. Uh, or you just roll the dice and see if you do this. Because uh, you also have a bunch of luck. You have a bunch of attributes you can burn for spell burn. 
Um, and you can always just roll natural 20. So it's not 100% Tom's game. So um, so could I just burn every available stat up to the limit where I would be able to still get able to carry myself? If I do that, I would be able to add 26 well, to my roll. Well, the thing is that's only uh, – your spell burn only applies to spell casting. So how would you get a high spell result to help you race? Mm. So uh, if you look at your spells, you can figure that out. So obviously with Detect Magic, you can make a massive fucking Plague of Rat spells to catapult you into the, the, the thing. So if you got like a spell result of like 30 – like that would give you, I would give you like a plus ten to your roll or whatever. Higher levels of animal, I mean, higher results of animal summoning result in in multiple numbers of mundane animals. Mm-hmm. Could those mundane animals be charging mustangs? Yeah. Could I suddenly <laughs> transmogrify my hat into a blazing chariot? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 All uh, right. What, what kind of roll do you need for that? What what adjusted roll? Let's see here. That would be for the animal summoning for multiple animals. And you still not need to roll if you roll a natural one. It's still a failure. How many hit dice does a horse have? Give me, give me, give me. Just... I think it's two per horse. Okay, so okay, so let's see here. All right, I would need to hit twenty four at a minimum to have like you know enough animals that are above two hit dice. Yeah. Okay. So how first? So, so first off, how many attribute points are you burning for the spell burn? I am burning eight strength, eight agility, and six stamina. Okay. So eight eight six so sixteen plus six so plus twenty two, and then my and then my last four points of luck on top of that. Okay, yeah. So plus twenty six, yeah. Uh, so if you roll natural one, obviously that doesn't matter. You fucking fail. So there's so just you wait got... to see if I roll a natural one. Yeah, yeah, basically. Sweetheart, please. Phew, seventeen. Seventeen. So what's the total adjusted roll? That's going to be the C thirty. That's going to be forty one. Uh, 41. See, that's, see, this is how you get higher results, Amanda. Uh, you burn a lot of shit. So, uh, let's see here. I just want to read it. See if there's like something even cooler. All right. Because the thing is now this is only the spell. All right. So 41, 32 plus, uh, a large group of mundane animals. I heard of, you know, uh, yeah, a pack, of, you know, a herd of horses. Uh, yeah. Uh, the total hit dice must be a hundred hit dice or less. So yeah, you could have a lot of fucking horses. Uh, yeah, uh, and they are really fucking really good horses. So um, now give me a driving check. I'll give you a uh, plus fifteen. <laughs> All right, if that's fourteen. That'd be a total of a twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. All right. So right now, Chris is pulling ahead because he has. It's <laughs> all of the, like the finest horses the universe has ever known. They, they literally chariots of fire is playing. Dun, 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 dun. I passed the kidney stone. It's unlocked incredible potentials. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Actually, uh, let's uh, roll. Per- let me. I'm gonna roll percentiles real quick because you have spell burn. You spell burn the shit out of yourself, uh, and spell burn is like literally sacrificing your body to do this, uh, and it fucking hurts. So a spell burn is do 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 do. Oh, it's a d twenty four. Okay, well I'm not. Oh, do I have a d twenty four? I do have a d twenty four. It is a six. Um, you let's see here. You yank out all of your hair and burn it in order to do this. Um, so including your beard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it hurts like a son of a bitch. Um, So, uh, Amanda, um, you can do something similar with Detect Magic and your Plague of Rats. Yeah, Um, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. uh, That you also have Charles. You could use him like a pawn in your grim game, and you also have luck. So, uh, yeah, just narrate descriptively how would you get past someone who's manipulating time and someone who's hurting the the horses of the gods. Yeah. to uh, win this race, all I have is a shit ton of rats. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, spawn them rats. I think I'm just gonna have to spawn as many rats as I can. Okay. Uh, and have all the rats. And uh, can I have Charles attack these guys too? Or like, uh, he is like reloading. He can do something else though. He can. Uh, well, yeah, not with the harpoon. Yeah, just yeah. like. Uh, he could throw rats at them, so you could you could uh, Charles can make an attack roll to throw a rat at uh, Chris. Okay, and knock so... him down a point. 
Quit riding around. How Maybe the rats I... will scare the horses. Yeah. Do I have to roll? Okay, so first off, you want to cast a spell. Right. So you need a really high result. Uh, so how many uh, attribute points do you want to spell burn? Uh, like, I can use them all, right? Do yeah, I have to leave them you, all you at to, one? Yeah, yeah, you cannot kill yourself with this. If you if attribute goes to zero, you die. So I have to have all of them at at least one. Yeah, at least the three, yeah, and only the physical three, attributes. Yeah, yeah, the top yeah. three. Okay, yeah. so then I'll just use all I think, you're all pulling, the you're, points. You're pulling across here. You're going to be like a husk. Yeah. I mean, if I get to the end, that's all that matters. Right? Yeah, that's true. So Chris, right, all, no matter what, is going to mm-hmm. come across the, fi- the finish line as a husk. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's true. All right. I need a high price. So that's 29 plus you I have 10 luck, price. and I guess I'll just roll. Okay. Okay, so 29 plus 5 is 34. Okay. Uh, if you get to 40, i will give you plus 15. Uh, then now you get a plus 10 on your driving check. So you need to burn six points of luck. Yeah. Okay. So I'm down to four luck. So with a 40, you get enough rats to catapult you (laughs) to give yourself a plus 10. Because, uh, or plus 15. So basically a a huge adult, just the infinite swarm manifests under the... A mega tsunami of rats. A mega tsunami of rats. Thank you. Uh, Under your card launches propels you forward so your your wheels are not even on the track anymore you're just being pushed forward by rats yeah it is. uh or yeah the momentum of the rats um so but you need to try and st- stay on the car so you still need to make a driving check okay yeah so you get course. a plus 15 to this check yes Screaming 10 25 25 uh how many how much luck do you have left four four so that would tie with chris um, all right, let's do it. So um, this will come down to whether Charles can uh, uh, bean uh, uh, one of Chris's horse uh, with a rat to uh, distract it, uh, scare it for a bit, thus causing it to like slow down. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> my horse in the front is named Petunia, and she's definitely afraid of rodents. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't introduce a rodent within a city block's radius of her. <laughs> so uh, go to these weird murder specs. Roll one more d twenty. And uh, I would say a horse AC is 15. So, And Charles has a plus three bonus to throw rats. Uh, horse so you, armor, ladies So I gentlemen. need at least a 12. You yeah. need a 12. Well, that was the worst expansion in uh, Oblivion. 18! Yeah, all right. So uh, by a hair's width, uh, one of your 100 ho- 50 horses slows down for just a fraction of a second, giving uh, Lorna the edge she needed to be catapulted. Uh, into the uh, 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 finish line first. Um, and then the, you two immediately follow, uh, followed by the clown. Right. Uh, Are both of them husks right now? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, okay. Now, oh yeah, so odd or even? Mm, even. Even. All right. You get you, your Baton Rouge. What is Baton Rouge Billy's last thing he says before he disappears from this timeline like uh not pretty fucking great <laughs> all right so the two t- the two the the, the timeline f- corrects itself and you're jacksonville johnny again um right. and man why do i feel the need to eat gumbo yeah. <laughs> the fuck? So cool rat, uh, uh the rat who has returned, the star traveler, man it appears in heavenly light. Uh, Hello, my awesome children. I have returned uh to Earth to to I have found uh, what has happened to humanity. I found the truth. I found the secrets I've sp- I've spoken I've listened to the universe and heard it speak to me, and all is one and one is all. Uh I I, be- I wish to end your suffering and bring you peace, however that may be. So my child, who was first to arrive, uh, Lorna, tell me, what, what, how can I ease your suffering? What, what do you wish of me? You can wish for anything, right? Of course, anything is possible through uh, my cosmic wisdom. Well. It is truly awesome. <laughs> I, I want you to tell me the ultimate answer to the ultimate question. And what well, you must speak the ultimate question. I need to know. <laughs> I need to know the the answer to the ultimate question of, of life. Oh, you want the meaning of life? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, money. <laughs> no, he's not money. He's fucking not money. I'll tell you that much. Um, so, show me what you've seen. I guess that's what I'm really asking for. Okay. I want you to show me what you've seen. I want you to show me what what open my because, mind's right. eye so I can see what everything so then, in the universe. So like this is where can. the 2001: A Space Odyssey scene starts. Yes, this is this is that you you have achieved apotheosis. You have become one with the universe. Um, and, uh, you experience all of space time throughout all of history through the mind and perspective of everyone that has ever lived or ever will live. Um, uh, and so you, you understand every perspective and everything, uh, you, you, yeah, you are God and God is you and everyone is God. So, uh, it is magnificent and humbling and beautiful. And how does it wind up? Like once you have achieved this wisdom, this oneness with the universe, uh, what, what, how, what is next for Lorna? What do we see if we were watching this as a movie? Um, you know, I uh this is really what I've wanted. This that's what this journey's been about for me is is finding this peace. Uh this inner peace and and this understanding. And now that I have it, uh I'm going to find a way to to help seek out and create a, a new civilization here on earth with with what remains. I thought that I wanted to leave, but now I, my purpose has been renewed. Yeah. That was a better answer than what I was thinking you were going to do. It was like, and so now. <laughs> <laughs> so you were just going to end it all. No, I'm saying like, I was saying like, is that what she's going to say? No. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so in another timeline, what, what have you said, uh, Jackson? Little John? What have you would ask like, for? I want to remember everything. Okay. That's uh, what I would have said. And uh, how would that affect of Jacksonville, Johnny? He would have reached a level of pumped and hype that previously would be unknown. Okay. He has discovered a new level of hype. Dump. Okay. He has become incomprehensible to the mortal mind, like uh, levels of pumpness that are, that are maddening to the mortal. Uh, uh, so exactly. It's like, dude, it's like, it's a, you can feel it emanating, but don't look directly at it. Yeah. So basically you become a great old one, but for pumped up, uh, but for excitement, but for excitement. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, Lorna creates a new uh, Eden uh, and research uh, 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 mortality for everyone uh, so that they can live and die in no peace and uh, 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 truly have meaningful lives. And it is uh, a utopian vision of the future. Uh, finally, all suffering has come to an end. The karmic, you have escaped the karmic wheel uh, of uh, birth and death and suffering. Um, so in another future, uh, uh, in another timeline, what would have you asked for Vitru- uh, Vitruvius? Uh, 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 I, 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 do you understand why I keep dropping things? Like, like it's, it, it's just like, it seems unnecessary. It seems like I could live a perfectly fine life without constantly dropping things, but I drop things. And frankly, at times it feels purposeful. I feel as though as if there's an entity that 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 visits small indignities upon me, and that's what gives it energy and 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 and, and joy. And I wonder, is there any truth to that? It is a manifestation of your own insecurities. Once again, then kick him, then <laughs> kick him in the nuts. My love, my therapist was right. <laughs> my love. Now that my mind is open to all the universe, I can teach you balance, and you will drop no more. Yeah. Wizards would literally race to the ends of the universe to talk to God instead of going to therapy. <laughs> all right, yeah. It's a man. So it's a yeah, man. Uh, cool. You have achieved uh, Nirvana through uh, Cool Rat and uh, Kart Racing. Uh, Actually, you know what? Yeah. Since they're husks right now, yeah, like. Can I get just like can I get like two uh ask me so two red plastic solo cups? Oh yeah. For two doses of that healing potion I got. Oh sure. It's yeah. like, hey, to the victors. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, right on top well, of my head's fine, thank you. <laughs> my esophagus like, can't work. I, it's like, oh yeah, it's like, oh yeah, absorb it through the skin. It's tastier that way. Oh don't worry, I have thick healing potions. They just slide down your throat. They're gravity fed. <laughs> um so yes, it's like thick water. You know what? Yeah, it's their victory drink. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I concede to victory. So yeah, that was Grand Prix of the Gods. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, that was oh, yeah. really fun. I really enjoyed it. Really? Cool. Yeah, I'm this glad. is the, you know, it's only the third time I've come over to play, but this is the best one in my opinion. Oh. So I guess every time it's been like better than the last. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I we started with Eclipse Phase. Yeah, no, we're trying to, yeah, we're working our way backwards to simple <laughs> yeah. systems. Um, yeah, I, this is kind of a weird concept, obviously, but uh, yeah. I mean, it could have been Phoenix Command. It could have been well. I'm just talking about the, the scenario mm-hmm. concept. Um, 
So yeah, the, the Grand Prix uh, uh, stuff. I didn't want to do just the they they have a scenario in the, the little PDF, but I didn't want to do that because that's just literally just a race. And it's just fighting. I just like yeah, I'll, I'll leave it a little more open ended that, and I wanted to go weird and because like I like the weird seventies like sci fi fantasy aesthetic of like mixing up sci fi and fantasy stuff, and it's just like all weird and gonzo and just yeah throw it in there who cares it's vibes you know um and yeah you I, i'm glad all three of you rolled with it hey. <laughs> hey. uh yeah so yeah i'm really glad you had a really good time man uh, uh i might we'll definitely do more games uh chris any thoughts i uh yeah i uh, uh um <laughs> i love this idea uh, very much. Uh, 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 it, it's it's got me back on working on my board game idea for a racing game. And uh, I'm, I'm eager to take uh, the reins uh, from Ross and, uh, and put my own spin on this. Hey, hey. spin. Hey. Uh, yeah, Tom, any thoughts? Radical. Radical, yes. Very and we'll end on that. Uh, thank you all for listening, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye.